Hello, welcome back to Ready Steady Play. I got Luke back. Hey everyone, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's because I have to do history stuff. <laughs> so Luke's here to play Undaunted Stalingrad with us. You might remember we, we played a bit of Undaunted North Africa on the channel before. Chris and I picked up Scenario 3 of North Africa. Um, and although we liked the game, we didn't have the best time with that particular scenario. I've since gone away and played like several more times. Um, and Normandy as well as... Uh, no, just Normandy actually. And uh, it was good. I liked it. And you're quite keen on the game as well, aren't you? Yeah, I got to play through Normandy before, and a couple of scenarios in North Africa. Not with you, but um, really enjoyed that. So, looking forward to some of this. Yeah, this is uh, so. This is the the third, no, the fourth box 
Although the reinforcements box, which is the third box, is more stuff for Normandy and North Africa. This is Stalingrad, so this is the Eastern Front. And in this game, the Germans are taking on the Soviets, and we're fighting over the city of Stalingrad. And this one is also scenario-based like the other games, but unlike the other games, the scenarios are linked, and your performance in one scenario might have repercussions in further scenarios as the game progresses. So it's, it's not... I mean, it is a campaign game, but it's not like a sort of a campaign game, like uh, a big box kind of thing. It's more like um, it's more like the scenario-driven boxes from the original games, but with just a, a little bit more of a through narrative. Although it's actually, evolving map as well. So this whole city fits together for us, um, and as we go through, we might end up with some destroyed tiles, probably more than a few, and that's going to change scenario to scenario as well. I think. Yeah, exactly. Um, so we can actually uh, change the city. Let me see if we have a close-up of the tiles here. So you can see the city tiles here, and we can actually change the, um, the city tiles as the game progresses, as the the war has repercussions. Um, I also didn't realize, but there's also a, a whole story book here with, like, sort of choose-your-own-adventure briefing pages as well. Um, where it's going to be like, you know, play this scenario, turn the next page, what happened, turn to the next page, read the next thing. So that's, uh, that's, that is actually more campaign-y than, than I thought it would be. Uh, if I remember correctly, the original uh, game just kind of had sort of light briefings and introductions to each scenario, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. And then this has some branching stuff as well. I've already been peeking ahead a bit, so... So, yeah, the uh, the first scenario goes straight into the second scenario, and then that branches into four, doesn't it? Yeah, there are a bunch of different games. So we'll, we'll, we'll finish this, and one of us will have won, and that will take us to one of two different things, and then after that, one of us will have won that second scenario, and that'll be in a that'll branch to another two. Um, I don't know quite how many branches there are now. I only don't want to spoil it for myself, so... Yeah, you don't want to look too, too far ahead. Perfect. So um, Luke's going to give us a brief introduction to the rules of Undaunted. <laughs> For those of you that are unfamiliar, it's going to be um, just a quick overview, and then we'll uh, we'll just crack on with playing the game. I think. Yeah, sure. So, uh, what's going to happen is uh, we all we both have a sort of supply area, which are cards that are going to be coming into the course of the game. But the real meat of it is our own decks. Um, uh, so a turn starts that basically you draw four of these cards, um, and we'll just have a look at what my four are. Um, and these cards correspond to various squads on the board. So this one would be my like, A Rifleman. Uh, here is my Machine Gunner. Um, and over here we on the board we have little tokens that are... Have you got my A Rifleman? They should be on the right there. There we are. Great. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to... Mike and I will simultaneously pick a card uh, in secret. And we will play that one for its initiative value. Uh, and that's going to be the number on the top left. Uh, so, yeah. So we can't really see my green German cards. <laughs> but there is a value up in the top left here. This is a five. Yeah. And they range from one to nine, basically. Um, well, exactly. Uh, so we'll both pick, lo what, pick those. Um, whoever commits the higher number, they're not going to get... To, uh, they're going to take the initiative. Neither of us are going to get to use those cards, though, uh, which can be uh, pretty devastating if you know, you've committed a useful card. Uh, this marker here is our little initiative marker, uh, and that'll tell us who's currently going first. Uh, on your turn, you'll be playing out the remaining three cards from your hand, uh, most of the time. Uh, whenever you play a card, it'll tell you about a particular unit uh, and give you three options, or maybe more, for what to do with it. Uh, so we can see here on my... let's have a look at Rifleman A. Uh, Rifleman A has the options to either move, attack or control. I'll pass it to you, there you go. Um, and that would mean that our little, my Rifleman A itself, who's on this map, I will choose one of those actions to do. <laughs> Sorry, we spent we so long tinkering with the green. <laughs> I spent time tinkering with the green screen and it's completely uncooperative. Well, I'll have a little chat through how the movement works. So you can see on that right Rifleman A, you can see there's a move one. That basically means they can move one space. Um, and each, of, each space is just a tile on here. Um, that's pretty straightforward, except they can only move in spaces that have already been scouted. So we each have... Uh, little scout markers, these white and red ones, they're Soviet scout markers. Um, over there are some, uh, I will show you a little German scout marker, here we are. Um, they can either be on the scouted side, or on the control side, more on that in a bit. Um, but as long as one of those is in place, you can move into it with a move action. Um, 
We also have in our deck various scout cards. They have a scout action, and they're the ones that will let us move into spaces that we don't don't yet have the scout act markers on them. Um, when you do that, you'll place new markers on the little tiles themselves, uh, and but you will also have to draw one of these Fog of War cards. Uh, and these Fog of War cards, they're going to clog up your deck. They're pretty bad news. Um, so every new space you go into, you're going to end up with more of these in your deck generally. Um, and there, and you could draw them, and every one of those that you draw is not a useful soldier. Uh, so that's the kind of opportunity cost there. Um, and you can play them for initiative, but they're also initiative value one, which is also bad. Yeah, you're, you're probably giving up the initiative there, unless you, you've both kind of exhausted it. If you've, if you've really slugged it out, then maybe you're both just going to be like, <laughs> <laughs> have, uh, have my one thing. Uh... The, there are then a few other like actions and things, but the other one I'll tell you about is probably attacking. Uh, I think probably people want to know about that. Uh, so an attack value basically always comes with a number next to it. That's the number of dice you're going to roll. Um, and the uh, what you're trying to do is you're trying to roll a certain number or above that number. And in order to work out what it is, uh, you have to do a sort of you have to do a little count up. So let's say that uh, my Rifleman B over here, uh, this chap, was uh, attacking these gunners who were just off oh, shot there. Can we <laughs> slide it that way? Um, these guys have a, a defensive value on them, uh, which is going to be, which is in this case, four. Uh, we'll let, you let that come into that shot so you can see they've got a little four on them. So their base value is four. They're also inside a building, which is providing them with three extra defense. So uh, they've got a total of seven. And then I count the number of squares away that my guy who's taking the shot is from. So one, two squares away. Don't have to worry about the third one. We've got two, plus four, plus three, for a total of nine. So I would only hit on a nine or a ten in this case, which isn't wonderful. But if I'm rolling a couple of dice, that's almost that's slightly better than a one-third chance of a hit. Um, if you do get a hit versus someone, uh, if the other person has one of those cards in their hand, they have to take them straight out of their hand into their discard pile. Um, which is... Uh, uh, which is pretty bad news because that's now a card they're not going to be able to use so that's one of the reasons why initiative is really important mm -hmm. uh, because if you can shoot first and hit the squads that are going to be doing stuff on this turn you're going to be not just actually hurting that squad but also limiting the actions that they can take um, if there isn't one in the hand then it'll come from the discard pile if there isn't one from there it'll come from the deck uh, to the casualties and one of the unique things about Stalingrad is as we take casualties uh, that's going to have a long term impact on our game we will actually be uh, you know, those squads will be getting less effective um, or in the case of some squads being completely removed from the game um, if you take too many casualties to them. So. so what you're saying is that if I get diced it's going to matter forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, well, you, you can just retreat. So, so another unique thing in the Stalingrad is you can just withdraw. If things are going badly and you just think I'm going to take more casualties here because you've got future games coming up might be time to back off so oh that's interesting yeah i thought you'd need you might not need to know that if yeah, you want to withdraw right now that's okay like you can just leave this city um <laughs> okay we'll be peaceful i'm fine. falling back i'm retreating from stalingrad <laughs> <laughs> i've saved lives <laughs> <laughs> yeah i just i'm just i just can't channel my inner dictator you know to, to, to want to <laughs> conquer this city i'm just not an in, invasion kind of person in my nature well, we'll see about that. You've already done quite a lot of invading to get here, I'm going to point it out. So. Yeah, because we're not picking up quite at the start of the battle for Stalingrad, are we? It's a few... No, we... we you know, steps the, in. Yeah, the, the German offensive has really swept in, uh, both uh, yeah, across the Don and into the Volga, or towards the Volga, but also down into the Caucasus to go and get various... to go and try and secure oil there. We're starting in, I think, late September. I think the scenario, the first one is dated the 27th of September. So for you... Uh, Stalingrad aficionados, that's kind of, you know, the Germans have largely secured the outskirts of Stalingrad and now pushing right into the heart of the river, towards the riverbank. The Soviets are really kind of on the defensive and retreating and trying to hold on to their bridgeheads just on this west bank of the Volga. And that's where we're going to kind of pick up. Uh, yeah. Fantastic. I, I think that there are other actions, but I think we can probably explain those as we go if we need to. Um, the basics of like moving, scouting. Yeah, the, is there anything else you wanted to touch on? No, I think I think that's it. There's um, there is the there's also the suppress action, which if I remember correctly is easier to hit with, but doesn't actually hurt your opponents. Yeah, so we've got some with suppress, particularly the machine gunners. Uh, so this suppress, for instance, rolls four dice instead of two, but instead of 
um, instead of doing hits to them, you will end up flipping tokens, which basically means that the next card that person plays, instead of actually doing something, it's just going to unpin those people and get them ready to do something. Mm -hmm. So it'll cost them a card to get ready, but it's not going to move someone to casualties. Um, You've also got the uh, the command... Oh, no, this is conceal. I can't remember that. Uh, command. Isn't there a command action or something like yeah, that? Yeah, so in, a, in our starting decks, we have some uh, some particularly... We have, you know, we have various officers. We've got squad leaders and we've got commanders. Uh, would you like... Yeah, I'll give you a... Oh, where's my saving command gone? It's, I'm going to kill this green screen one day. <laughs> Here's my platoon sergeant if you want to show that instead. Cool. Um, so you can see here they've got a couple of actions. <laughs> That's the thing. We've got bolster or command. What is happening? Um, and bolster is basically drawing new cards from this supply over here um, and putting them into our discard, so they'll come back on a reshuffle. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, command, I think, is letting people do things again, but we'll have a check of that in a moment. Um, yeah, uh, but these are these are really important. And some of these officer cards, these ones with these stars, they actually don't represent a unit on the board. These are more just individuals giving the orders close to the action, um, but they're particularly helpful. Um, and yeah, we are sometimes limited by people being in squad A or squad B. So my rifleman here is different from my rifleman there. Um, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So certain cards can. So you've got you've got like your pool of cards that we're going to be deck building from, right? And like. Um, these are the Rifleman A, the Scout A, the Machine Gunner A, and then the B platoon is down here. And, you know, we're going to be... Bolster, I think, is buy these cards and add them to your deck, so you add, get more cards in there, more opportunities to control things. Um, more hit points for that unit, so that they don't get wiped out as quickly. But, um, you know, you have to spend time picking those cards up with your commanders. And if you run out of cards here and in here, then they're dead and they just go off the table for good. And that's sad. Yeah. So for the other two, uh, Conceal is forcing the other person to take a uh, Fog of War card. You just right. directly add it in. Um, and Command is drawing extra cards from your deck. That's so that right. the other one we had on there. And that lets you take potentially more actions, isn't it? Yeah. Does yeah. Command draw two cards? Uh, do I mean draws the number it says on it? So uh, I think for our starting guys, that's two. Um, no, it's one on my guy. No, it's two. two. It's two. Yeah, I mean, I think your squad leader might also have uh, commands, but he's got yeah. inspire and bolster. So here you can see actually that this is the. You can't see anything. <laughs> here you can see maybe that uh, he, he. This is the squad leader for for platoon A. And so he's going to bolster and inspire units in the A platoon. So he can affect all of those guys so long as they're A. Yeah. And they'll probably have one for B as well. Yep, we do. Yeah, our starting squad, we basically have a card for each little token you see on here. Um, plus um, our platoon commanders and our squad commander. Plus our platoon commander and one squad commander for each. And probably some fog I mean, a couple of fog of wars. Yeah, you, can, you, can, you do start with a bit of confusion. Boo. The only builds. So what am I trying to do in this scenario? Um, so in this scenario, I think we both basically have the same objective, which we're trying to capture these victory points. Um, and that is a case of controlling the squares with these kind of little green markers on. Uh, we're both trying to get to a value of four. Uh, so you can see here in Pavlov's house, uh, this one's worth a value of two, as is one over here on Zabolotny's house. Um, but then we also have some open ground ones here in the January night square. Uh, that are worth one each uh, and yeah if we can secure if we can control spaces worth a total of four victory points uh our side will win and it's effectively a race to do that um, and there is enough for us both but that's not gonna matter it's about who's gonna get there first <laughs> um, so you're kind of under pressure here to dislodge my gunners because i i don't control these spaces but i certainly occupy spaces worth four already yep you yep exactly you've already got guys in those houses which is a problem for me but your 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 backup's a little way away. They're still over here, or right on the other side of the square. Yeah, they don't um, even whereas I'm, my screen here. <laughs> I'm pressingly close. So yeah, here we have the rest of the German forces that are a bit cut off from these gunners. Um, not only are they cut off, they don't really know what's in this ground, so these faces aren't even scouted yet. So you're gonna have to get in there. Scout, yeah. How forwards. did these people even get here? Did I parachute in? Like, what's going on? <laughs> I, I think they've been holed up for a while, and uh, they're they're little communication the broken square down. And things are broken down. Yeah. God, why can't they just text me? Whereas I'm, I already know what's next door. I've just got to get in and. Uh, yeah. That's right. You've got the paths already set up there. All right. So basically, just suppress you until my friends can show up. 
Oh, no, no need to give away the game plan. Oh, no, no, I've done it. I've away the strategies. Well, um, just uh, before we start playing, we'll say, um, we I, we should say hello to chat. It's not refreshed, but I can see we've got some people in chat, ch chatting. Um, so I'll say hello to, why is it not showing up here? This is so annoying. Anyway, um, Alessandro, hello. Glad you could join us. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've already won. No, I have to control them. I can't just scout them. <laughs> Um, but, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully the Germans have started in a better position because, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not good at dice. I love that each soldier has individualized picture name. It really gives the player view of the characters as their individuals and their losses more poignant. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, so each member, so while we have a bunch of people who are in the squad Rifleman A, for instance, or Rifleman B, they each have their own name and kind of little bit little touches to their illustrations um so all of rifleman b's group you know they're all in the same pose but they've got sort of different hats different facial hair different names um yeah so that's uh, this is hans kuhn and carl dietrich and walter schuster and wilhelm bauman and werner fuchs and they're all people they're all someone's son and if you kill them, you should feel bad. I think that goes for both of us. I think that does go both ways. I'm gonna I don't know. I don't know. I think yours were built in a lab. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't look like it. They've got lovely names too. Pretty sure they're robots. They've got sons and daughters and you know, I don't want to feel brothers, guilty. wives, husbands. Yeah, okay. Why, why I don't think it's going to be a good, day, war, a good time for our war poor, game. Uh, soldiers, <laughs> like, but, I don't want to feel bad about killing people. Let's play on Dungeon Stalingrad. <laughs> But you're right, uh, David. It's a really nice touch, and it's um, it's sort of certainly very thematic, albeit uh, quite sad. Okay, so we discussed uh, the scenario books as well um, ahead of time because there's a briefing in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my monitor earphones and quietly read the German briefing while Luke's going to give you the <laughs> Russian briefing, which I think is probably a bit more apropos given that uh, at this time they were on the winning side of the war historically. <laughs> The Germans are on the winning side of the war. No, the, 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 the Russians. The Russians it, it, ultimately. The ultimate winners, yeah. Yes, it's it's not going well for the Russians at this point in the war. But mm. um, So not only are you the underdogs, but also you're the... I'm also on right. the defensive. This is this is Soviet homeland, like, you know. Exactly. Um, so let's get a... So you know what the Germans are doing. They're invading Stalingrad. So let's find out what's going on with the Russians. And I'm not supposed to know what Luke says. I'm supposed to read my own. So I'm going to put on the monitors, and then I'm just going to quietly sit here and read about the Germans. Uh, I'm also going to apologize in advance for any acting skills or lack thereof. <laughs> Please don't be expecting them. Um, right, so uh, scenario one, uh, briefing number one. Platoon Sergeant Uri Mikhailov could hear the M1939 thudding away nearby, though he couldn't see what they were shooting at. The Soviet anti-aircraft guns in the neighboring street had picked up something in the sky overhead, but the height of the apartment blocks on either side meant the targets remained hidden from view. He could hear the aircraft, though, a distant, dull drone, probably bombers returning from a dawn sortie over the Volga. You'll hurt your neck doing that, he said to Sergeant Anya Petrova, glancing over at her. The young squad leader was standing on a small mound of rubble, craning her head towards the sky as she tried to snatch a glimpse of the flak barrage. She just wants to see the butterflies burn, Uri. Maxim Levin, the platoon's other sergeant, said with a chuckle. Uri didn't smile. She'll see plenty soon enough, he said. There was a scuffle of boots on Grit, and one of Maxim's corporals, Mishkaya Rutskia, emerged from the darkness of the row of bombed outbuildings behind the platoon. The lieutenant's back, Sergeant, Mishka said, saluting Uri. He's ready for you. Uri nodded to Anya and Maxim, she tearing her eyes from the sky, he stubbing his cigarette out under the boot. They followed Uri as he ducked into the half-dark of the battered building, pushing aside the gas curtain that had been draped across the doorway. One month and five days had passed since the fascists had first come to Stalingrad. One month and five days of shelling, of aerial bombing, of retreating. The Red Army had given ground. Forced back until they were on the hard banks of the Volga and the German shells were plummeting through the ramshackle boats struggling to ferry reinforcements across the western bank. The river was only a few hundred yards back from where the lieutenant had set up his command post in the ruins of an old worker's soup kitchen. The ceiling had been brought down at some point during the shelling and had recently been replaced by a layer of camo netting. The netting threw strange shadows over the camp table, set up in the rubble beneath it. The lieutenant was waiting for them. Uri and the others saluted and gathered around the table, taking the newest markings on the chart spread across it. 
9 January Square, the lieutenant said, stabbing a finger at one. That's our objective for today. Specifically, these two buildings. Commanders designated them as lighthouses. Their height means their control, uh, they, their control offers a view over the square and all other buildings bordering it. They are key to this part of the city. He already studied the map for a moment, orientating himself. 9 January Square, named after the bloody Sunday of the Revolution, was one of the five demarcations that the Soviet High Command had used to divide the city. There were the northern and southern sectors, the Soviet headquarters at the city's waterworks and the largest power plants, and the suspected German base of operations at the Vorton. Far too much of the map was currently penciled in with the red that highlighted German-held territory. Yuri was glad to hear they were finally being tasked with changing that, rather than yielding yet more ground to the invader. Our platoon is coming one of the storm groups today, the lieutenant said. You know the drill. Move fast, stay low. Is everyone properly equipped? Grenades? Ammunition? All accounted for, Comrade Lieutenant Turi said. And their spirits? Are they ready to give their lives for the motherland? Always, Comrade Lieutenant, Yuri assured him. Anya and Maxim nodded their agreement. By tonight, those houses will belong to the Red Army once more. Well, I hope everyone uh, was ready for that. I apologise for my, uh, my attempt at the names. Uh, I'd not pre-read it, so, uh, <laughs> and my, I do not speak Russian, so I had to do them as we went along. But uh, hopefully it was, yeah, hopefully you all understood who I was talking about. Um, Andrew says, one conditional win condition to consider is to shoot down all the riflemen on the other side so they can't control objectives anymore. That's called pinning down. Um, yeah, and if, if the other person's rifle squads, both of them are completely gone, then you can... Them. Oh, and uh, Andrew hopefully reminds us that actually they don't uh, they don't die. They just go away on holidays from the front lines. They get wounded. Uh, <laughs> they just get uh, they get re retired <laughs> to uh, to a nice farm upstate. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, were we using subscriber? Who's going to be the first one to launch the attack? Uh, are we using subscriber even for this game? Um, subscriber chat. Uh, yeah, Alessandra, we've got subscriber chat on um, for all streams now, just because it keeps the the bots out, basically. Um, so hopefully, hopefully that's. Um... So if you can't chat and you'd like to chat, you can subscribe and then immediately access chat. It's free to do, um, so that's cool. And then if you don't want to subscribe, you don't have to. But why not? It's free and it helps us out. Um, and it keeps the bots out of chat, which is the main thing. Well, that was, uh, yeah, that was a bit more humanizing than I thought it would be, so that's good. <laughs> now I feel even worse about, about it. So, luckily the game is really fun. <laughs> so, Yeah, I noted my, my scenario lines up with some of the people I literally have in here. You know, some of the names were the same, so I, was, <laughs> I assume yours is similar. I don't know if they, they might be yeah. in your starting deck. <clears throat> yeah, there probably are in here, actually. Yeah, the seat, I suspect it's the platoon sergeants, and, uh, yep, there you go. <laughs> you know who was giving the orders. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. <clears throat> There's always the withdraw option. <laughs> <laughs> fall back, fall back. So how does withdrawal work? I just declare withdraw and then the scenario's over? Yes, and uh, the scenario is a, is a loss then, yeah, indeed. For oh, you, interesting. Uh, uh, and a win for me. Or if, obviously if I withdraw, the other way around. <laughs> I refuse to concede yet. <laughs> okay. I would like to play at least one round. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, th I think we can give the people that. <laughs> <laughs> cool. And you're the, you're the one in... Sorry. Um, yes, I'm, I've got the houses. Anyway, here's my initiative card. I'm ready to so go. I will deal myself four, and I'm going to choose one as well. Oh, okay. Um, I've got. I've chosen my initiative as well. Actually, Great. you know what? Well, that's my initiative. Ready? Three, two, one. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you beat me. But I might have overshot a little. So let me uh, let me just see if I can turn down the um, the exposure a little bit. Oh, no, it's pitch black. That's too high. There we go. So you can see uh, his seven to my one. Yeah. Good. Cool. Uh, so that means I'll be going first, but I won't be able to use this seven. And Mike, well, you can't use the fog of war anyway, but it's not exactly giving up a lot. Um, yeah. but that means the initiative stays with me. Uh, so I'm going to be playing my cards first. Um, and I think this is... Well, I, I really want the, the initiative here because I think I'm going to need to close, close ground on those gunners pretty fast before they get to pick me off. Uh, 
So the very first thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try and uh, use my own machine gunners to suppress you. Uh, so I'm going to play this machine gunner here, who's machine gunner from Squad A, um, and I'm going to use him for suppress. Uh, and we're going to suppress on uh, over into Zabot, Zabolotny's house, um, which is your gunner B. Uh, so I'm immediately going for an attack, but it'll be a, a, a suppress rather than an attack. So I get to roll four dice. Um, your defense is four plus three, plus, uh, which is seven, plus two tiles, eight, nine. So I will only hit on a nine or ten. And just to uh, just to clarify, we're using the house defense instead of the tile defense because if you were in the same tile as me, we would use the tile defense, right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Um, and there are a few special kind of covers like this, but with buildings, it's just the rule is basically: are you in the tile? In which case, uh, you're inside the house. Not here, here yeah, you can come into the yeah, house. If I came inside the house, being inside the house is. Pretty deadly for both of us. Don't let the like, Russians yeah. in the house. <laughs> uh, but for now, I'm just kind of shooting up the windows. If you turn up your head, I'm going to be like having a pop. So I'm going to roll four of these. Um, where's going to be the best place for that? Do we think? Um, let me let me set up uh, a little camera here. What have I got? I've got this one. Uh, right there we go. There we we can see that. So Luke's going to be rolling in the dice tray, and I'm going to be rolling on the green screen, um, and no one will be able to see. Uh, do you want to pass me your two so I can roll all four at once? Oh yeah, go for it. Cool. So I'm hoping for nines or tens, which will be zeros in this case. Um, and I've got uh, I've got two zeros. It doesn't actually matter. I don't know if people can see that or not. But uh, I, yeah, double zeros, double threes. I've got two zeros, two threes. Um, so I've got two tens. It doesn't actually matter how many successes you get, at least not for this type of attack. I think probably not for most of them, but there may be some surprises. As long as there's one, you've got a success. Uh, so this guy's going to be suppressed. So we're going to uh, flip Ooh. him over. Um, and I'm hoping that that'll help me out if Mike's got plans to try and hit my guys before I get over there. But I'm going to play uh, a Rifleman B. Uh, this card here, I'll put it up there so you can see it. Uh, so Rifleman B over here, he's going to immediately do a move. Uh, so he, And he's got to move one, so he's just going to move into this space and advance on that house from the guy who's been suppressed. Boo! I, I think you mean gay. <laughs> Forwards, comrades, etc. <laughs> uh, and I've got one card left, but it's a Fog of War. And if I don't like Mike had done and chucked it in the uh, <laughs> in the um, initiative, then I then you'd I'd still be, be going case. first. Still be going and first. you'd have yeah. um, Max, I'd have Maxim Ma Leverin to bolster Squad A. Yeah, I've I've paid a high price for my initiative, but I think it's important that you know we try and get forwards. But let's find out, uh, Mike. It's over to you. Fantastic. So I have got to ask you about the recon action. <laughs> Okay, uh, so the recon action uh, is um, a special action that I, is on scouts, um, and the way it works is effectively you get to look ahead, I think, at tiles, let's just have a check, you get to put scouts. So scouts have scout 2, which is how you actually put tokens out on tiles, right? Yeah, indeed. Uh, and But that involves moving through the tiles themselves, uh, whereas recon um, lets you get rid of fog of war cards. Um, so oh, you choose okay. a Fog of War card from your hand and set it aside. Um, it then won't be used for the rest of the scenario. It can come back in future scenarios, but yeah, you get to thin out your deck, basically. Get rid of those useless Fog of War cards. Nice one. And presumably you can't then um, get rid of uh, Fog of War that, for example, you played for initiative. No, indeed. It, yeah, you have, to, you, you have to recon something from your hand, I think. Mm -hmm. I will double check that. Choose a Fog of War card from your hand and set it aside, yeah. Perfect. Okay, so with this in mind, if I go ahead here and I play my Scout A card, um, let me see. Do I have that's that. This is looking over here at so Luke. Who's that? Oh, it's these guys up here. So this is yeah. This is one of my. Um, here we go. We'll go and play this card up here. There we go. Scout A. And so that's these scouts here. Now I've got. I could Scout two. Which is move and yeah. So you'll scout move the into the tile, put down a scouted marker. You've got to take a fog of war for putting down the scouted marker, and then you could do it again. I see. Okay. So I think what I'll do then is I will. Spoiler alert: the Germans lose Stalingrad. <laughs> <laughs> in a little while, in a little while. It takes a it's while. It's gonna take a few months. Yeah, let's. Uh, so let's. Uh, what if? So I could go, uh, but I could go one, two, like this, and only put out one scouted tile and take one fog of war. 
Yeah, exactly. Um, so you've got. I think they're all there. There we go. Um, you put the little scatter marker, and then fog of war. And that goes uh, in the that discard. Goes in the discard, yeah. Boo! I hate that, but that's fine. Um, so I think then let's um, go ahead and play. This is pro possibly an absolutely terrible idea, but let's play Scouts B <laughs> and do the exact same thing on the other side. Well, okay, you, you're opening up the paths to reinforce both of these houses. And yeah, they're, yeah they're, I don't... They're, they're, I don't. They are the think, points you need, so... I, I don't think I'm going to go via this space just because I don't know why I would scout that. It, I mean, I guess it makes it quicker to move around later, maybe, but... Um, yeah, for now, let's... Uh, let's not bother with that. Um, oh, thank you, David. I'm glad you're enjoying the music. Um, I get a lot of mixed feedback on the music, but... That's good. That uh, you're enjoying that. I think, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's hard to find royalty-free music that's also sort of appropriate. <laughs> um, here we go. So here's my final card. It's Machine Gunner A. So the ones that are not. No. Pinned. Okay. <laughs> so now I've got a choice here. I'm thinking about shooting at those riflemen, who uh, who who have just advanced into a cover zero space. They've broken for cover out into the open, and I'd hope that. Uh, they would be saved from bullets by uh, by not by, uh, by pinning <laughs> the gunners, but you pinned the wrong the ones. Wrong one. So I I'm trying to make the decision about whether I just pin the riflemen or actually shoot at them, and I think I might just shoot at them because you're going for the attack. Well, because you've got so you're one, two tiles away, right? Or three? One, I two, think I'm three. three away. You're from, three from away. That gunner. Yep. So yep. I need sevens. Uh, yes, at the moment, because they've got four plus three, no cover. Yeah, so seven, eight, nine, or ten. All gonna, uh, any one of those gonna get a hit, and you get to roll two dice. <laughs> bon, bon wants to come and destroy the war. Win the war for me. So you're going for the attack, two dice, yeah, yeah okay. Here we go, two dice into those. This will be an excellent time to demonstrate how uh, missing works. Oh! Is it a miss? You, uh, the green screen's <laughs> everything. This one is a four, four? which is a miss. Let's get but the other one's a ten. No. Well, now it's an eight. <laughs> but, okay, but it was, it was a ten. Yeah, okay. I, I need to fix this green screen, everybody. There's going to be a moment of complete death, and then uh, we'll come right back. It won't even take two seconds, I promise. Um, hey, that's a complete lie. It'll take shall, I talk, uh, shall I talk through the casualty in the meantime? Uh, you cannot, because they're, they're going to lose sound. No! <laughs> we'll be right back. Two seconds. Sorry, guys. We're not? Oh. Um, no, we're still here somehow. Is this not the right... This is not the right screen, that's why. Um, sorry. If... Uh... <laughs> Um, can't believe you've done this already. Taking care of one of my riflemen. I, <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. Look at what you've done. You've already sent one of my. can come back right now you can talk through the casualty loop cool. um so i'm going to lose a card from rifleman b the first place we check is my hand but obviously i've already played so they're already gone um and we check the play area uh or we check the you know first we check the play area uh then hand then discard pile then deck uh i've played one this turn already uh so this is the one that's going going away um we move that to a special pile of casualties that's going to affect uh what our casualties are at the end of the game um, so we'll, where will we keep these for now? Let's, let's keep them up there so we know. Actually, let's do that. Oh, yeah. That's where, that's starting my poor count of casualties. I think there may be some more on the way. Uh, but yeah, if there weren't, then I go searching my deck, uh, for one. Um, if there was no cards at all, i.e. not in my hand, not my discard, anywhere at all like that, um, then this unit, uh, would, would become routed instead. Uh, and that's one of the ways that you can lose if, if all your riflemen are routed. Um, so if Mike can have another shot at this before I bolster them, i.e. putting a new card in, uh, they're going to be toast for now, <laughs> at least for this scenario. So if they're routed, they're done for the scenario? Yeah. Uh, I think actually you can bring in 
in in the previous games, yes, I think in Stalingrad there's a rule that effectively is as soon as you you can bolster a routed squad and it will come back in. Um, uh. But if they are both like that, then I think it's gone. Um, uh, I think instead what happens is if they're routed, they get, you could you as the attacker can move them, so you can basically force them to run away from the battle as well. Uh, if you keep hitting already routed units. That's just uh, me. Is, yeah. That's just me. All right. Well, I didn't. Uh, I didn't pin them or stop them, but I sort of stopped them. You stopped them for now because you know we know at the moment there are no more of those in the deck. Um, uh, I could draw squad leader B. Which will hopefully give me some uh, right new because behind them. yeah you've got squad leader A here and he's got this inspire power which is effectively just pass off an action to another unit isn't it? Uh, inspire is like you take the unit back into your hand you take a, a something from the same squad back into your hand and then you can play it again effectively in the same turn. Bolster is get new cards. So inspire is hunt the discard for a matching card is it? Uh, the play area so the stuff you've already played this turn so you have to already uh, I have to have another okay. one from squad A in order to do it. I see, I see, I see. Um, I think, yeah, do you have more bad news for me? Or was that... That, that was my whole turn. Right. That was it. I so. scouted, I did a bunch of scouting, and now yeah. I... And then I shot my gunners. And now we're into cool. round two. Uh, okay, so I think we're gonna... We'll do this one. So again, we obviously we've drawn four cards each, and now we're just choosing one for initiative. Uh, if there's a tie, it'll stay with me. So three, two, one. Again, Mike with the fog of war cheating <laughs> out on this uh, initiative. Hopefully, it'll go better for me than it, it worked well for you last time. I just, so. uh, I just want. Uh, I committed uh, my A scout. You committed the A scout. So uh, my my initiative is six, and I did a fog of war, so it's a one. Um, and what we're going to be doing is, I think. Uh, it's time to, yeah, we're going to play my B squad leader to bolster. Uh, so this is the adding heart of the deck, because I'm quite worried about these poor riflemen. So my top priority is to make sure they don't get completely uh, minced before they can make their way to the house. Um, so I've got bolster two. Uh, so I take two squads, cards from squad B, um, and I'm going to make them both riflemen, I think. Yeah, two riflemen. Um, so Sophia... And uh, Xenobold, Timor, they're both entering my deck. Let's see if this, uh, so the green screen now has a little bit of fuzz there, but at least hopefully you can see the cards a bit better. Yeah, you can see their names. There we are. All right. Um, so, so, the, so they're, they're reinforced going. Reinforce the rifle. Yeah. Then. And I don't get them straight away. They're, yeah, but when the reshuffle comes around, that'll happen. Uh, then I think it's time to. Yeah, what do we, we got? Oh. <laughs> the okay, Russian yeah, swarm I, gathers. Um, I'd like to. I'm going to. Mm, choices are hard. Choices are hard. I think. I, I I've got I've got some scouts, and I think what I'm going to ask them to do is I'm going to play my B scout, and they are going to scout, uh, and they're going to go. Oh, how many new fog of wars do I want? I really don't want more. <laughs> so I could go through the middle here because this one's worth a victory point, but there's not a lot of cover there. But I'm, if I'm going to get to four, I'm going to need it. So I'm going to send my scout into there. Uh, so I've let got me them go here. there. Um, that'll add a fog of war card to my deck, and then I'm going to send them the second one. They're going to scout into the building. Uh, so they're now in the house, um, and I need another fog of war into my deck. But the scouts have got in there, so now when the rifleman can hopefully be ready to actually go in. Um, we'll see, so that's my scout, and then finally, uh, well, 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 okay, I'm gonna, I've got my platoon started, which is good news for me, but the question is, am I gonna bolster more, or am I going to, uh, do some commanding to try and draw through? Oh, and this I, is the big guy. I think I'm gonna bolster some more, um, now with this guy, he's, I can bolster to either squad, he's not limited, um, so I'm gonna bolster... Once to Rifleman A, another one of Rifleman B, uh, and then a, oh, let's see about Scout B. They're in a little bit of a hairy position, so I think they might get shot at. We'll find out. 
Um, <laughs> sorry, that should be over there. So that's uh, my three play cards, Mike. Um, are you going to do horrible things? Um, no, actually, surprisingly, I'm going to just have to deal with the cards I've drawn. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Rifleman B. And Rifleman B are just going to advance. So oh, let's go and check out my side of the battle. So Rifleman B will advance up to here. And then because I don't like them sitting out there in the open, even though they are quite far from the Russian guns, I'm going to play Squad Leader B, who's going to inspire them to advance up to here. And my final card is Squad Leader A, in which you guys can't see any of. I'm sorry. Um, Squad Leader A. So these are my um, my guys here with Bolster and Inspire. And uh, he's got no A cards to Inspire, so he's going to pick some from the uh, deck building area over here. So let's have another Machine Gunner A card, because uh, I like Machine Gunners. And we'll have another un Rifleman A card as well to go into the deck there. And that's that. And, okay. Next, next, through Somehow to you seem to have more cards in your deck overall than me. I don't know how this is happening. I mean, I've I've taken five this turn. No, but I mean, in your draw pile, you've got three, and I've only got two. Uh, uh how could that have happened? Shouldn't have happened. Uh, because the, we both should have gone four cards, four cards, and then we should both have two left. So there's presumably been an extra card in my deck. I haven't seen that yet. I haven't seen that yet. Uh, I'm just, I'll just quickly separate them out. Uh, I bought you. Interesting that the German squad leader is equipped with a standard rifle and not a machine pistol or such. People who understand historical um, accuracy. This all looks very accurate to me, David. <laughs> it all looks well researched. Uh, I'm not sure how that's happened. Should I have split my forces around the outside of the square? Have I done a tactical blunder? Is this dumb? I don't know. Two fobble fours. You didn't do a, a command at any point and draw an extra card? No. No, yeah, I should only have two left. Uh, I can just scout, scout. Did you do a command? No, you. that's the opposite. No, yeah, that, would, that would give me less cards. Yeah. Or fewer. Um, at least this time the Russians get to get a gun during the assault <laughs> what did they uh what did they use historically uh well if you the opening to enemy of the gates has the one man takes a rifle the other one to like takes the ammunition you know and they only get alternate people because at this point they are really pressed up against the banks and resources of any kind are really limited so um i think that's probably what they're referring to is that mm. yeah all of my soldiers have a gun here um Maybe only the ones with guns are going forwards at the moment. Uh, <laughs> so, squad leader, squad leader. That's all right. Two sergeants. I think this is well enough shuffled. I just like shuffling cards. There's something about shuffling cards, especially with good sleeves on them. <laughs> it's very satisfying. Right, one, two. These are exactly the ones I need to kill Luke. There we go. Sorry, I mean uh, to win the war <laughs> in the name of... Uh, 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 the 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 side I'm on. <laughs> China did the same thing in the early days of the Korean War. Multiple soldiers to each rifle. Others had bullets or a grenade and had to pick up a rifle when the previous rifleman was killed. Oh my god, that's wild. Imagine like fighting a war and you have to like inherit a weapon because there's just not enough to go around. That's wild. I wouldn't wouldn't fill you confidence. <laughs> <laughs> no. Right, did you figure your life out? No. <laughs> but I think we should just We're move on. Just like, choosing to live with it. Okay, yeah. fair enough. I think I have an extra fog of war from when we were doing the uh, like explanation about the intensive, but I'm not certain because I think, yeah, I missed the answer, them, but we'll find out. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, right. So what you're saying is I might have an additional advantage. Yeah, because I think I don't have an extra one of these, so I think it, the only card it can be is the additional Fog of War. Um, hmm. Hmm. Right, and surely this time it's not going to be more Fog of War from like It could be. They come back in. Uh...
Oh, I think I'm going to play... Uh, no, I've changed my mind. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there we go. No, 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 this one. There we go. Three, two, one. Go. Oh, oh I've overplayed now. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I'm on the nine and he's on Fog of War. Oh, uh, well, here you go, Mike. Yes, German Initiative. Okie dokie. So, I'm going to start by playing Machine Gunner B. And all that does is unpin him. And then I'm going to play... Um, I'm going to play Gunners A. And they're going to shoot at your rifleman again. <laughs> Can we not? This is horrible. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're quite likely to get, get hit. So this is two. This is this little hit on a seven or better again, and he's running two dice. Yeah, and we uh, can actually, hopefully, actually see them on the green screen this time. Oh, uh, seven! It looks like a, a seven one. there. Okay, so um, I don't have any of my player. I don't have any of my any rifle and B in my hands. Uh, so I search my deck. I'm actually kind of disappointed. I was hoping to get some to out of his off. hand. Oh, yeah. I think if I had a rifleman B, I would have paid more for the initiative. <laughs> I mean, I still wouldn't have beaten you. You committed hard. But, uh, so this rifleman B, uh, also going in there. Right, and I, my last card was a Fog of War, so that's that. So we could have tied on initiative with my Fog of War. So, yeah, yeah and then you would have won third it. One, but, yeah. uh, right. Okay, so... Uh, Please. Ah, Ultravioletta, welcome. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to open with Squad Leader B uh, doing some bolstering uh, to actually. Oh, oh, oh. Now, actually, we're going to. We're going to. Machine Gunner B is going to go first. Uh, and they're going to <laughs> try to. Who are they going to try and do? They're going to try and uh, suppress these gunners. Uh, they're going to try and suppress the gunners that are inside this house here. Because uh, you've just fired with A, so let's go for these guys. Um, so I'll roll four dice, please. Two, All right. I've got the other two. Um, uh, I'll, I'll pop the dice tray over here, so hopefully you can see it. There we are. Did uh, I have a closer look at that? Where's all my angles? There we go. Um, and um... So this is going to be uh, four plus three for the house, plus another two. So only nines or tens will hit. Um, but I've got four dice, and all of them miss, so that's not that's not a ideal. With a one, three, three, four. Uh, it's yeah, not what I was hoping for. Uh, in, so then we're going to play Squad Leader B, uh, who's going to inspire the machine gunners <laughs> to go again <laughs> to have another pop, um, and they are going to go for um, they are going to go for the same ones again. I was think I, I hope to suppress both sets of gunners and then try and get in, but uh, I think. I think I think these guys take the priority given they're in the building with these scouts. So suppression again. Oh, and a miss. No hits on that either. No, there's a nine. Oh, that's a nine. That's a nine. That's not a, a six. Nine, okay, not yes. a six. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're all, you. Whoo. <laughs> <laughs> Curses. I almost got away with it. Um, and then my final card is a is Rifleman A, uh, who are very far away and can't hit anything, so they might as well do nothing. <laughs> uh, that's a, I, think, I think I think they're going to be sent for e, for, forwards for uh, for pressure reasons. So Rifleman A is going to move just the one space into there. Get him! Get him with the guns! <laughs> yep. I did. Damn it! What's happening to me? What's happened to me? <laughs> I've become evil. Um, cool. And that's all my cards. Uh, and David has just asked. Uh, now that uh, you've got um, you've got card sleeves on the cards, there do they all fit into the box? with the card sleeves on. The answer is they probably would. The box is quite big, but I didn't actually sleeve all of the cards. The Osprey very diligently put a note in the rule book for litigious sleevers like myself, which said, sleeve just these cards to start. And then as you swap cards in and out of the deck, just sleeve the cards that you're gonna be playing within any given scenario. So I actually kind of like that. It's also kind of helps you track what you're sort of actively using. So that's the method I've gone with. But yeah, they fit kind of width-wise in the slot, sleeved or not. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. So you can have the ones you want to use sleeved. And, and I think the boxes are big enough to contain all of the cards in the game sleeved, if that's how you want to play it. But it's not sleeved. <laughs> it's, if, you haven't seen the <laughs> selection. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, yeah, and I, I don't know what all this talk about shirtless gameplay is, but we're not playing Strip Undaunted. <laughs> I think that's wildly inappropriate. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have to, Alessandro, I have to get this done quickly so I don't turn into like some kind of evil 
evil person. Um, okay, yes, interesting, interesting, yes, interesting. Oh, very, in ooh, very interesting. Yes, super interesting. Okay, this. Uh, yeah, I think I'm playing this one. Hang on, I might change my mind. Sorry. I haven't yet changed my mind. There's, there's quite a horrible tension to this bit where I'm like, I, I really want to go first, but do I want to give up <laughs> the actually useful things? It's, it's not a good time. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty wild. Okay, yeah, I'm ready. Cool. Oh, oh he's got okay, it back! I, I will take back the initiative. So I've used a Rifleman B for that. And I've got a Fog of War again. Um, right, so I think uh, it's time for my scouts to do something useful. Uh, and they're actually going to attack inside the house here. So this is the B Scout uh, doing an attack inside this building that we've got all contested. Uh, yeah, this is a knife fight in the house now. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so because they're inside the house, the cover is only one. These guns are suppressed, but that doesn't matter too much. So it's one plus four. Uh, so I will hit on a five or better. The Scouts only roll one die. So it's still only half chance, but I'm hoping that they'll get the job done. Um, they do not get the job done. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh. Sweating uh, over here, guys. I'm sweating. <laughs> Every roll. Uh, so then we're going to move with our rifleman into the house. Uh, so rifleman B moving one space into the house itself. Um, I think it's going to get. It's going to get. It's getting crowded in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, I wonder how my guys over here sort of perceive this. Like, how do they identify? Which ones are Russian and which ones are German? So far, they had a lovely, uninterrupted stroll across, you know, this square. They've the, and everything their commanders have told them, they're, they're not at all worried. There are some interesting sounds happening inside the house that I think they're quite concerned about. But are we about to find out? Uh, and my last card is Fog of War. Over to you, Mike. Okay. Um. So I've got some interesting options here. Uh, but what I think I'm going to do, uh, actually, and I, I sort of feel like you did some nice deck building, and I haven't done a whole lot of it, and now I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> and I'm kind of thinking, like, am I, am, I, am I making a rod for my own back after I took those Fog of War cards and now not deck building? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this Rifleman card, Rifleman A, and that's just going to advance those guys up my right flank here into this vulnerable position hopefully uh luke won't be shooting at me too much yeah, this, this could go a clean shot across the square like you know yeah i know i don't like it um but it's i'm gonna hope that the distance makes up for the lack of cover and then i'm going to play um oh scout don't actually have move on them no huh well i'm gonna play scout b uh and he's just gonna scout his way into here because it's the yep. same as move basically right yep yeah uh, just you can place the things you you, so you move up to textiles um if if any of them you go through are concealed then you put down the scout marker and take those fog of all cards yeah this is the party house guys no, nobody wants to go to pavlov's house everyone wants to come to zabalotny's house <laughs> Um, and then I'm going to play a squad leader to activate my scouts again and they're going to stab rifleman b okay okay uh, so, Rifleman B are just a four in cover, uh, plus one for the thing, so Plus one five. for the house, so this is the exact same as yours, so this is where we see whether the dice are on my are team Are your or scouts your team. more effective than mine? Please. Yes. That looks uh, like the pioneers have done a job. Right, so first I have to go to my play area. This one's my play area. So that's... This is looking like a really bad time to be in Rifle Squad B. They, <laughs> as much as I attempted to give them covering fire... The gunners did not do a good job for most of it. Um, yeah, this is uh, not dreamy. Meanwhile, somehow, I've got all the uh, the lewd jokes in chat for this stream. You guys showed up with like, the funniest stream to make dirty jokes on. Alright, here we go. This one, please. Uh, I think... Yeah. Cool. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. I should. I knew you'd do a fog of war. I was like, I, okay, I, I didn't yeah. one time. One time I, I didn't do fog of war. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I I've paid with my A scouts. Um, uh, Gotta keep you on your toes, Luke. Yeah, <laughs> you know, fog uh, of war, ninety percent of the time, except when it really matters. Uh, so we're going to. I'm gonna. 
uh, platoon sergeant, and I'm going to command two. So this is drawing two cards. One, two. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, that, that's actually quite useful. Uh, but I think we're going to play Rifleman uh, A. And Rifleman A, we're, I'm going to finally use the control action. Uh, and they're going to control this spot here. Um, so they're going to flip that one in. Uh, and then Squad Leader A is going to inspire them. So they're going to go again. Uh, and I think they're going to... They're going to... Uh, are they going to attack? I think they might. Or they might try and move. They're going to just move over here into this one. There we are. Um, not a lot of additional cover for them, but... Uh, they've been given a job. Rifleman B have been given a job. We're going to see if we can get this control down. Um, Somehow Rifleman B are getting picked on a lot. Um, and then finally my next two cards are Fog of War and Fog of War because, yeah, that, this is the, my deck is increasingly getting filled with these. Have so you... I've, I've just been informed by my my um, spy in chat that if I recon to take a Fog of War out of my hand, I also get to draw a card. Yes, yeah, yeah. I did not know this, which is great because I had planned to do that anyway. Here's Scout A. And he's going to get rid of this Fog of War, because I don't need to bid for initiative with these all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and then I get to draw a card, which is nice. Oh, what a bonus! Um, okay. Um, oh god, I was gonna I was gonna bolster, guys. At long last, I was gonna bolster. <laughs> but I just but drew this incredible is... Gunner's card, so now I'm gonna blast Rifleman... Oh, B? Do we keep shooting B? Do we kill Rifleman B? Just murder them. <laughs> no choice. They're, they're, they're they are in cover. Spot, they're, they well, are in cover. Well, yeah, yeah, got yeah. Eight. I'd need eights to wound yeah. them from here. Whereas yeah, I only things. need fives to wound A. Yeah. Yeah, that seems like a better uh, Six to wound A. Six. Yeah, base four, it? plus one for cover, plus one distance. Understood. Six. Base six. Yes. Send to vacation upstate. Sorry. Um... No one is buying that you were going to bolster anyway. It's true. <laughs> I was going to do some deck building. I promise. I had a plan. The plan was to do deck building. And then I just drew this really nice machine gunner card, which I didn't even plan on getting. So can you focus on this, please, camera? Can you? Can you do that, though? That would be great if you could just look at this. I'd love it if you didn't just look like everything was under the water. Um, uh, there we go. Here we go. So Gunner's A into Rifleman A, but not on your side. And that's an eight and a two. Oof. Okay. Did anyone see that? Did I have? Oh, I did have that. Uh, so that's a Rifleman A from the play area to the casualties. I think I'm going to be taking some pretty permanent casualties at the end of this. Uh, and uh, just because I'm a meanie who apparently doesn't care about winning, I'm going to play the squad leader to shoot again. <laughs> <laughs> to go again? Yeah. Oh, okay. And there's another eight there. Oh no. And a one. See, it's just rolling exactly what I need. Okay, so none in the play area, none in my hand. Uh, check my discard pile for any A rifleman. But yeah, there's another A rifleman. Wow. All right. Uh, all right, so play area into a discard. You got yeah. any more shooting at shooting nope, me? That was it. Yeah. I'm all done. So I'm drawing two, and then. I've got one left here in the deck, and then I'm drawing up from the discard. So here's a nice shot of me and Luke shuffling <laughs> into this card shuffle. Really, there are some very particular cards I would like. If you get any Rifleman's in hand, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> right, rifleman in hand would be lovely. I worked hard. One Rifleman A, one Rifleman B, that's all I need. <laughs> so this is why the Germans actually lost at Stalingrad. They kept bidding way too high for initiative. <laughs> that, that was only twice. They kept spending all their time just firing guns instead of charging <laughs> into the objective. Like, <laughs> Ultraviolet is like, who needs deck building when you keep rolling well with the dice? <laughs> yeah, have you seen my machine gunners? Like, they tried two, two suppressions. They rolled eight dice, and they didn't even scare them. I wasn't asking them to hit. Like, I got scared twice. They're still scared. They're scared. <laughs> uh, one, two. Oh. Oh, what have we got? Okay. Okay. All right. So now, let's have a think here. Um. Okay. 
Cool. Uh, that's that's my, this is my that's my initiative. What uh, what number is it? Oh, you'll see in a moment. <laughs> it's a big number. It's a very big number. <laughs> Super high. Super big number. But on the scale of all numbers, it's quite small. Interesting. Alright, you ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. So my for 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 once we actually both bid actual well, actual things actual things that's not a fuck of war. No, nope. my seven beats your three, so I'll take that, and I will um, play some cards. I'm going to start with a very simple one. It's just Rifleman A, and they're just advancing out of the square. Well, further into the square, I guess, up to here. So now they've got a bit of cover, although they have just kind of moved closer to the bad situation. Um. And then, I guess I'm playing my B machine gunners, and they're just going to unsuppress. And last but not least, my Rifleman B are going to move into the house. <laughs> Welcome to the house. <laughs> Welcome to the party house! <laughs> Alright, cool. Hold on. Cool. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, first I'm going to play a scout uh, for recon. So I'm going to get rid of this Fog of War card and draw a replacement. Boo. Oh, okay. Where are these guys? There they are. <laughs> Scout A finally wants to do a thing. <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, and then I think uh, Scout B, another <sighs> Scout B, Scout B. Uh, is going to take a shot at someone. Um, <laughs> Target rich there, there, Yeah, there, is, there are quite a lot of them. I think we're going to go for... Uh, Oh, those riflemen and those gunners. Let's let's go for the rifleman. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we're taking shot the rifleman. Rifleman B. Yep. So uh, that's uh, five. So you need five up, I guess. Yes. Uh, I'm just rolling the one die though. Uh, I'll, 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 oh, pop it there. Yeah. Two is definitely not a five. Oh, I picked the right person to play this with. Me. <laughs> <laughs> they're just they're just nervous. They'll get they'll get it together. <laughs> not sure. Scout B is very nervous. Yeah, Scout yeah. B. I, I I don't really blame him. It's pretty uh, he's a nerve, like, nerve-wracking environment. It's like I'm a scout, not a not a malier. Uh, Mali Mali. <laughs> um, mach- the machine gunner B. Uh, they're going to do an attack. Oh, um, they finally decided pinning was not. Well, the, the people are inside the house now. I was trying to deal with things before they before it got more severe. But mm-hmm. uh, the gunners, they're going to attack inside this building. Uh, it's a good thing there isn't friendly fire, at least not until we get to blast and things like this. Um, they're going to they're going to shoot into the building here, mm-hmm. uh, and they're going to shoot at the at those riflemen as well. Uh, so they're rolling two dice, but they will only hit on a four plus three, seven, eight, nine. So they will only hit on a nine or zero. Uh, but hopefully, I bet this is where you like. Uh, I bet this is where you like crush it. That'd be nice. <laughs> the hard shot. Nice. So one third chance of a hit. No, no, they both they miss. They miss. Oh, this is so reminiscent of my first game of, of Undaunted Normandy with Fred. Like, I I just uh, I felt like I had this really great strategy, and then every time I had to roll dice, it, was <laughs> it all ones. fell apart. <laughs> well, I felt I've gone for very aggressive strategy. A slightly, you know, there was an inspiring speech in my briefing. Uh, to go and charge into the square and seize the objectives, and um, well, we we've done part we've done part A of that plan. In terms of maneuvering, you're on the ball. Yeah. In terms of charging in. Got it. <laughs> One, two, three, four cards, please. All right. Mhm. Yep. Okay, three, two, mm-hmm. one. Yeah, <laughs> two fogs of war. All right. Um, I would like to start this turn, please, by playing um, Scout B to recon this sco- fog of war. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had the bad hand. All right, what do we got here? Oh wow. Okay. Well, it looks like um, looks like this is going to be a bad time in. Uh, a bad time in the life of Rifleman A. So here's Machine Gunners A uh, shooting at Rifleman A. Uh, so what was this? Four ups? Uh, this is a six, I think. So it's four plus one plus one. Four plus one plus 
please miss for once. There's an eight and a seven. <gasps> I gotta find a rifleman B, a rifleman A. Uh, I don't think there are any in there. There are none in my hand, so we go searching the deck. Uh, there are no rifleman A in the deck. Uh, so we have to we we are dealing with a routing I think uh, We might need to find the little route markers. There should be a little white flag. Could you I think at the top of the tray uh, See you go. the route markers. I think we're gonna need one from top of the tray uh, So it's this white token. Yep uh, and so uh, Because you've you you've hit me and I had no card from anywhere to give up um, We're gonna Jeez. add a route marker to the unit uh, you can move that unit to an adjacent tile that my opponent control that I've scouted, or uh, or, or I control. Um, so you can move that to any of these if you want to, or you can leave them there out in the open. Um, Interesting, and really the effect of this, I guess, is that um, you've got no cards in hand for them or in the deck currently. Yeah. But what what happens if they get shot again? Do they just route further? Um, it's not entirely clear to me. Uh, hmm. Routing units. Uh, units. When an attacker routes a unit, you can move it one space. If it would inflect a casualty on a unit that's already been routed, you can move it again. Uh, when I bolster a routed unit, I immediately remove the routed unit's marker. Hmm. Um, so as soon as there's a deck coming in. So you can move it, so hitting it while it's already routing will move it further away. Um, these guys have not traveled very far, so. <laughs> okay, well let's just send them back here for now. Um, so that's at least mildly less useful for you. Um, it's not an objective point. Yep. So they've just retreated to uh, their starting space, actually. Um, and then uh, I was going to shoot them again, but now I've discovered that that's kind of pointless because they're <laughs> all out of cards and I don't want to retreat them any further. So I'm just going to play a Machine Gunner A card, and I'm going to... I think I'm going to su try to suppress Rifleman B. Okay. Um, or do I just shoot them? <laughs> I'm such a sucker for murder. <laughs> what happened to me? Um, let's see. So if I, I would need eights, right? Because it's four, seven, eight, nine? Nine? Nines? Uh, yeah, we've got yeah a total of seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Nine. So you need nine or... Or ten. Uh, You'd be rolling pretty well, though. It's true. YOLO. Here we go. This so is, is this uh, an attack. Yeah, this is an attack. So Here two we go. dice. Nines or tens. Please miss. Please miss. Please. Oh, it's a ten. No. And a two. Oh. <laughs> I have to give up a uh, rifle and B from my hand. Uh, and that's very bad news for me because I have been hoping to control this turn, and then I have three of the four points I need. So now, yeah. it's gone. Yes. Uh, That's, uh, that was a lucky break. Oof. Okay. Uh, so now it's my, my turn. Uh, and I'm going to... You're, you're going to enjoy this. Uh -oh. Are you ready? Um, is it Recon? No, it's a Fog of War. <laughs> and a Fog of War. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> that that Rifleman B was my control for <laughs> the turn. That was your only card. Yep. I, I had three Fog of Wars and Rifleman B. Um... I am considering whether I need to withdraw, uh, because uh, you know I was hoping that I was hoping that Rifleman B was going to capture over here, and Rifleman A would capture here, and that would be my four points. Yeah, that would be. And we, we the take game. the victory. They they committed, but now getting anyone forward is going to be difficult. I think I might need to. You think you're going to withdraw? I think, I think I'm going to withdraw here. Oh, uh, well, actually no. I think I'm going to play one more hand. Let's one more hand. Yeah, one more hand. Uh, and I think things are going to be better in this hand for me. I'll try and inflict some casualties, but. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> David says the NKVD commissar frowns heavily upon you. <laughs> I feel like I am the NKVD commissar at this point of view. At this point, I've just charged them into a house, and uh, it's not gone well for them. Um. Uh, so if, if you do want to withdraw, you do have to do it at the start of a turn. So I could have withdrawn before playing these two Fog of Wars. Because <laughs> <laughs> that would have been the start of my turn. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, let's have a look. So I think what we'll do, where are these guys? I actually think, yeah, okay. Um, no, 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 I'm going to need them. Uh, uh, it's just bad news all around. Where are these guys? There they are. Okay, come on. Three, two, one, go. So I will take the initiative. Uh, and now, now the big question. Uh, so I could do some more bolstering, but honestly, these these decks are pretty are pretty pretty short. Um, so even my supply of units isn't that great. Um, I think I I think I oh, I think it's time to withdraw. <laughs> time but, for a withdraw. Yeah, I think I'm going to withdraw now. Oh, I should have played a higher initiative and then I <laughs> done some more shooting. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I'm still going to take some casualties. You took zero zero casualties this this in my attempt. <laughs> Not for uh, lack of trying on your part. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so when I would draw, uh, I have to do this on my turn uh, before I play any cuts. Uh, if I do, my opponent wins immediately. So that's kind of the end of scenario one. Um, I I won the uh, the the uh, the objective of Scare Luke. Yeah, 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 yeah. This this has been this has been bad for my uh, poor Rifleman B squad, and not great for Rifleman A either. <laughs> like they're, they're on the run. Um, yeah, not a single German uh, casualty so far. Yeah, I mean, mostly, um, mostly because I, I found it kind of hard to get like into the positions to use the command action. I probably should have done some more shooting. Control action, or maybe maybe some more accurate shooting when I've been going forwards. Yes, I don't think that's for lack of trying. I think there was quite a lot of bad luck on your side and quite a lot of good luck. I don't think I missed once, which is pretty, pretty, pretty swingy. Um, that's why they're the B team and not the A team. Uh, is there any difference than plastic figures? Is it any different than plastic figures on a mat or table? Oh, what are we talking about? I suppose you, uh, suppose these counters, like, would it be different playing with figures? Um, no, you, you could replace it with figures as long as you knew which one was which. Uh, but these are nice and clear. They're easy to handle. So, Yeah, and one of these... There's the chat. One of the advantages of these tokens is that they've got stats on them, right? You know, they've got the, the delineation, which you could print onto a base, and they've got the defense, which, again, you could print onto a base of a miniature. But this is just very clear to see. The color's very clear to see. It's got nice artwork. Uh, you can flip it over for the pin side, which is important to have. I mean, you can lie a miniature down, of course, but... Um, yeah, I mean, uh, it reminds me of... Um, a lot of the the Tsukuyumi um, standees where they had all that information printed on them and then they had to get rid of them and everyone had to get a menu with all the stacks on them. <laughs> all right, cool. what's the crack? Are you ready for the for, for the lo almost entirely good news for you? <laughs> uh, so so we now go to the, like, the campaign step. So this is the bit where we're going to move between uh, up the scenario we're doing and the next one. Um, and in this phase, we're going to find out a little bit more about uh, what people think of our performance. I suspect it's not good news for me. Extra uh, schnapps for the Germans. We're going to discover which of the people who are wounded in this battle are going to be permanent casualties. Um, uh, so that'll be replacing some of the cards with reserves. Uh, some of the people are going to gain some veterancy, so our decks will get a little better. Um, and then we will set up, yeah, find out, then we'll set up the next scenario, which will be scenario two something. Uh, we'll, we'll find out at the moment. So the very first thing we do is we go check out, we have our little like campaign records. Yes. We're going to write the results in here. Once uh, again, I've like, completely failed to get pencils or pens. I, I see one just here. So, uh, oh, is there one? Well, there's a very big marker. Oh, we're there's have... a big marker. There should be... There we go. My, my hidden pencil. Oh. Here we go. I have to write in pencil, so uh, if I make mistakes, I can correct <laughs> them. <laughs> so in the back of your scenario, in the latter part of your scenario book, there should be a portion that uh, lists the current scenario. Uh, and in here, we have a bit that says uh, what, you know, a bit about what the scenario was. But then it says what the current state was, which was 1A. Yes. That's where we start. Mm -hmm. And then we can see that a German victory, quite a decisive one, moves us to 2B. Um, so then we know that, okay, 2B will be our next scenario. And we'll look up what that means in a bit. Uh, but if we write in here, current game state, the briefing number that we had, scenario, and then we're going to write the next ones. So the briefing number was 1-1? One, one? Uh, so the, yeah. the briefing number for what we did was 0 one, one. Uh, the briefing scenario for the next one, uh, if you look at the front of your scenario book, there'll be a like little bit that tells you what the briefing is. So we know we're in state 2B. Uh, and we're both in state 2B, right? Like, um, so you, for me, it's 491. Ah, same for me, yeah. for you, but 
there'll be quite different text. I imagine yours will be <laughs> praising the efficacy of your defence of the square, whereas mine will be, what were you doing? <laughs> why, are, why are they half dead? Um, <laughs> what has happened here? And you'll have to blame your dice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which I don't, I don't know. I don't think that would go down very well. I think I might be handed a, a revolver with a single round in it. But, uh... <laughs> oh, God. All those characters we <laughs> learned about just so, so recently are suddenly all gone. Um, you need a pencil. That's what's going on. Oh, I was going to after you, yeah. Um, do we know the scenario number for the next one? Is it going to be 021? Uh. It should say immediately if we when we find the briefing. Uh, I think it says at the end of that. Uh, ah. So if, well, briefing four nine one. Uh, we'll find out what that star is. Uh, yes, it, it's going to be zero two two. Um, at least that's what it's exactly, say. David. They're all just enjoying a um, a trip to that that. Um farm upstate the one i was talking about it's easy for you to say literally none of you <laughs> here you go you take that <laughs> thank you uh... literally no one died that's right wild. well again yeah, now we now we go and inspect that bit so we go to the casualty phase so we look at the number of cards that were in our casualty pile which for mike is zero and for me is one, two, three, four, five, six. Trying not to enjoy it too much. Um, I appreciate yeah. it. So, this so was on the reverse, I'd be bummed. So now you shuffle your casualty pile, <laughs> yeah. uh, and you find out how many of these are going to be uh, permanent or permanent casualties. Okay. Now, if you've got zero, you get to draw. Can you guess how many? Zero. Yeah, yeah. You've got no permanent casualties. Funny that. Whereas I, I, I'm in. I'm on five to nine. Six between five and nine. So I've got to draw two of these. Right, and then they're permanent uh, casualties. And they're going to be permanent casualties, so let's go find out who they are. Um, we're going to show everyone. I don't know if it'll be public or not in the thing, but uh, it's a permanent casualty to Rifleman A and Rifleman B, which doesn't really surprise since they're the ones who took the hits. Um, oh no, Mishka and Sergei. But more specific than that, it's going to be their actual individual people. So I think I need... Uh... Oh jeez, this is quite upsetting. <laughs> so... I'm going to replace these people with sort of wounded versions of them. So riflemen, scouts, machine gunners, there are reserve versions. Right. They're going to have less actions on them or worse actions. We have uh, a response. reserve deck. Is this not the reserve? The reserve deck is this one here. So, ah, oh, yeah, okay, then. Reserve deck. So we have a little reserve deck here in our our holders. Um, can you tell me... With the cards in. So uh, uh, can you pass me back the uh, people themselves? Yeah, right. I need to know exactly what their... Registration numbers were... Now we can use this elaborate sleeving system I developed. Uh, she is far... Ooh, um, SS005. SS... SS005. And you've also got so SS0017. SS17 and SS5. So this SR05 to replace it. And you said 07. Uh, 17. 17. Okay. So this is the uh, the stand-in for uh, for Mishka, actually. Yep. And here is my stand-in for Sergei. Um, so you can see the, the, they've lost an ability. Um, well, yeah, which is not wonderful news to me. Um, so yeah, I'll could you grab those two and them for me? I'll pop these away. And of course, Mike would have to do the same if he had any casualties, but. <laughs> there were so, literally none. So. You can uh, so if if you lose between one and four cards, then you'll have one casualty. Yeah. Um, so there's you can't really get away with like not checking for ca like you'll have a casualty even if um, if even one person is if even yeah one card is wounded. Uh, uh, <laughs> the only way to have is not is to avoid all wounds. <laughs> Which you're very successful at, so you know, <laughs> Apparently. hopefully they'll promote you and then you'll get out of Stalingrad and like, you know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. face a, new, a more novice commander for the scenario There's two. a special condition where if the Germans win the first scenario and take zero casualties <laughs> and inflict two or more casualties, the game is over and the Germans have won. <laughs> that, that, that would be nice. Um, so then the final bit is upgrades. Uh, so you shuffle all the cards that were, were played, um, so not those wounded ones. Hmm. Um, all the cards that were played. So all the cards from your play area. Oh, okay. So this is our starting deck plus... Plus whatever you got in... Whatever you bolstered with this turn. Right. But uh, not Fog of War, presumably. Uh, I think not Fog of War. I think if you draw anything... If you draw a Fog of War, you draw a replacement. So you can leave them in there if you want. But it... Yeah. 
Uh, um, so we're just leaving out. Okay, so I, I'm actually going to have much less diversity here because I didn't do any deck building. I, I bolstered like two cards. Yeah, but you also had them. So, but, but basically, you're going to draw until you get two regular combat units. Uh, so here's our squad leader. That doesn't count. Uh, draw a replacement for that as well. Platoon Servant, draw a replacement for that. Scout. So I've got Scout A and Scout B. And I'm going to get upgraded versions of these guys. He's upgrading his scouts. I don't like that. Because only the scout survived. <laughs> <laughs> the rifleman did. Right. And I've got Machine Gunner A. That makes sense. He killed yeah. loads of people. Yeah. And I've got uh, Squad Leader B. He doesn't count. Platoon Sergeant doesn't count. And Scout A. Don't know why he's getting an upgrade. He did nothing, but there you go. Kept his head down. Le learned some of the realities of war. Um, uh, David, if you haven't seen our series on this war of mine, I played the whole game with Ben back when it came <laughs> out. And yeah, it was thoroughly depressing. Uh, it's well worth a watch, actually, that series. I think it was a really good game. Um, yep, so we're now going to upgrade these cards. Uh, so it's a similar process, except instead of going from from S to R for reserve, they're going to U for upgraded. Uh, so, yeah, so if something's... Uh, I've got S21 here, that's going to come U21. This is exciting. Yeah. I get to take some cellophane off of this. Yeah, me too. Well, this is my only good news so far. So. <laughs> good news. Good news. Our scouts are better so presumably though the game is going to give you a bit of an easier start in the next scenario because you've pres you've had um, a bad time in the first game uh we'll see uh, I, I might i might get the easier end of the stick i might not i think i think uh is there yeah. not like a tab on this i'm like where's the there, tab? there is on the side i've got my okay, you're, yeah. you're better at this there we go i found it because uh, i'm a little worried that you know if you were to consistently lose scenarios it would sort of become a negative feedback loop right where you can't win because all you've got are these reserves these whole yeah. well I, I probably have to learn to be a little more um you know maybe i'll be defending a bit more of the next scenario um okay so i need gs uh 12 so, and so if you just look at the number it'll that'll be the bit you need really uh so. And there's, so there's basically three states for each card. Uh, upgraded, normal, and replacements. Yeah. And when they're upgraded, they, they keep the same name. So P Polina here is becoming, you know, uh, he's a still Polina. Um, so you can see oh, that's here. cool. So here's the slightly more grizzled version of Polina. She's got a big old star there to commemorate her incredible efforts as a scout. Um, she, of course, was the one in the house that couldn't hit anything. <laughs> But she said she saw she saw some things. Yeah, uh, but... she's it's really actually an upgrade in determination. Um, she saw some things and she didn't like it, and okay, these are actually all in order, which is great. Yeah. Um, so here is the upgraded uh, machine gunner, and he just looks like uh, sort of more um, angry. Really, he's just. He's raised his, and they've got the same name. This yeah, is it's the same person. They're, they're the person extremely you're... appealing, and simultaneously, it's gonna make me sad when bad things happen to them. And it turns out that Kurt is now—he's just learned to speak up. He's just like, he's tired of being a scout and hiding in the bushes. Now he's like, "Oi, <laughs> guide!" He's got a new action called Guide. I don't even know what that does. It's uh, it's when you shout at your teammates. <laughs> and so we also have a little... Uh, if you look here on the tray, you've got your replacements here. These are your upgrades. These are locked, presumably, to be unlocked in due course. And then you've got a tray here for your removed cards as well. Right, and that that is our... So that's the three steps that happen at the end of a game. That's victory, casualties, upgrades. And then the bits that happen next are all the bits that are setting up the next scenario. Um, yeah. Uh, which will be 022 we've each got our own briefings we've also got a little map book which shows us exactly what's happening in that scenario uh, so we're not doing 021 I assume that's what we would have done if uh, I'd been the victor Instead, so there was actually a branch here yeah yeah there was a branch here yeah we would, we would have gone either way on this that's exciting um, and we're going to move uh, west a bit in the city so these places so in fact I think uh, the house yeah the, ha the house is still standing this house and this bit of the board is still going to be part of it. Oh, the party house is still here. The party house is still here. In fact, you're going to be starting in the party house. That's so amazing. So these guys, they're going to be starting in the party house. My forces will have moved west and they're going to be trying to take it from... The, or, or we're going to be involved this in this This is a fight for the party house? 
Yeah, it looks like it. Well, so we'll happy. see. We'll see. I think. I think that I see a sniper involved, which uh, could be good or bad news, depending on who gets that sniper. I'm hoping they're mine. <laughs> You're hoping it's honest. your sniper. They, they look. We're. They look like that's they're yours, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's they, a they've got an appropriate house. Oh no, Russian sniper! I don't like this. We're gonna try a new approach to taking this house. Um, Scenario two: party house. <laughs> Scenario two: take aim. Scenario two: try and inflict some casualties this time. <laughs> cool. Uh, so, how do we want to break this up in terms of who's going to do what? Well, I think what we'll do is let's uh, let's take a quick, uh, a little quick comfort break, and we'll set up the the next map, and we'll come back maybe in about ten minutes with a new map set up and um, ready to to try have a crack at scenario two. So stick around because uh, you can chat on the stream, and we'll we'll be right back with you. Thanks for watching.
Hey folks, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed uh, Ultraviolet's stories and chat there. I haven't managed to catch up on them all myself. I've been quite busy here, but uh, I'm sure <laughs> I'm going to have a good time reading all of those back later on. Um, for now, we are all set up with scenario number two. Uh, the, the um, what are we going to call this? The incursion out of the party house. Taking uh, aim on the party house. <laughs> taking aim, yeah, exactly. The A Russian sniper has been sent to take revenge on the party house i'm gonna hold on to this so it doesn't fall over so the sniper's all the way over there and the party house is here still full of germans of course because we won the party and there's some uh, russians over here there's some more germans up here and as you can see there's all these objective markers in all of the open ground between me and the sniper so in this scenario i have to control four of these and luke has to just get five hits with the sniper and then he wins I got zero casualties last time, so five seems like quite a lot. Of course we washed our hands, David. We're not savages. Um, at least we can fit the whole map on the camera this time, because it's wide instead of long. Um, good. And so we've set up our starting decks. Mine is the baseline deck, which is one card from each squad, plus... Um, Fog of War. And I've add my, added my upgraded people, which might be actually... A bad news because that means they can get they're now, yeah they're now they're vulnerable. now going to be in the scope like it's those cars that'll get hit first they'll be in the casualty pile oh i didn't even think about that oh, i'm sure it's fine yeah um, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah it's fine um <laughs> i will I, I will release bonbon bonbon wants to be in she wants to be out she wants to be in she wants to be out don't worry about it i fixed it and then it's still not fixed <laughs> There's a, we're just having a little bit of logistical issues with the studio here. Don't even worry about it. It's fine. It, oh, good. Bonbon escapes. <laughs> Bonbon is free! I think she must have heard Leanne go to the kitchen, and she's like, Oh, could it be dinner time? <laughs> dinner time for Bonbon. Alright, cool. Um, good, well that probably means the game will be somewhat more safe. Right, I start with initiative in this one, but that doesn't mean much of anything. So these are the stars. These are gold stars that I'll give to Luke when he kills people. <laughs> <laughs> I need five of those. Momo. Is she called Momo now? Cool. Oh. Nope, I've got one too many. The game is never safe. It certainly doesn't feel safe. The game is never safe. Uh, we, are we going to do our scenario reads? Or do you oh, yes, you should. Answer? Yes, I will read my... Scenario, but quietly, where it commends me, and you can all hear about how Luke gets chewed out for screwing up so bad. <laughs> it's so bad that they give him a sniper. <laughs> like, you need this help. <laughs> exactly. Um, right, so it's 491, isn't it? 491, uh, yep, or at least that was what it was me, and I imagine they mirrored. The lieutenant looked up from his maps, a slight frown crossing his face. You are Yulia? he asked. I am, said the woman, who just entered the command post. She was tall and might have seemed young if it were not for the cold, distant look in her eyes. She was dressed in a shaka and a grubby, khaki canvas cape, which was hanging limp around her shoulders. A mouse and Nagant sniper rifle, bearing its sniper rifle, swaddled in protective bindings, was slung across her back. You're in command of snipers for the whole sector? The lieutenant asked. I am, Yulia repeated. Where's your spotter? Dead, she said. Three days ago, before the push on the square, I've yet to be assigned another. I will have one of my sergeants detail a man, the lieutenant replied. You were briefed before coming down here? Enemy forces are probing to the south after one of our failed attacks on January 9th Square two days ago. I am to kill them. Correct, the lieutenant said, offering the ghost of a smile. Welcome to the platoon. Alright, so according to my blurb, uh, Luke's already shooting me. <laughs> <laughs> you are under fire. I am under fire. Well, we'll see. Right, so underway, uh, we're going to choose our... Things. So what else am I trying to do? Make life miserable. Where? Let me have a little look at the battlefield before I... Commit. <laughs> oh, this is really scary. I don't want to hear that sniper. <laughs> It's so scary. The snipers are over here, by the way. So this is the sniper. Like My unit's here and here, and Luke's got an entire army down here as well. 
Um, presumably the drugs who were kicked out of the party. Okay, I've got my I've got my initiative. I've got my plan. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully better than the last time. Surely at least one casualty. I've got a specialist now. Let's find right. it. Bam. Right oh, oh, it's, it's a, tie. a tie. And so that starting initiative did matter. Mike started the this scenario with the initiative, uh, and uh, means he gets to keep it. Oh. All right, that's interesting. So I've started with a crazy hand. Now y'all saw me shuffle this deck, right? <laughs> this so is, it's on camera, yeah. Yeah, this is the kind of good. This is the kind of hand where it starts off good, and then you're like, oh, but you know what this means. So what I've got first here is my, um, I've got my platoon sergeant, and I'm trying to decide whether I draw two cards here and sort of press on with moving around. But I'm thinking I might bolster. I'm thinking I might just bolster up a bit because I just feel like I'm going to get shot a lot by that sniper. Um, and so bolstering might be helpful to not have to be routed a lot. Um, the other thing is if I bolster, I could get some machine gunners on the board, which might help to suppress the snipers. So I've talked myself into it. Uh, let's bolster um, two... Machine Gunner A's. Oh, wait. I started with Machine Gunner A's in my deck, though. Yep. Right, so they don't spawn on the board until I play the card. Yeah, until you play the card. Right. And they'll spawn wherever your riflemen are. And that's something that's a bit different in Stalingrad versus the early ones. Right. So here we go. So we're going to do add three gunners to the deck. So is that 2B and 1A? 1B and 2A's. 1B, 1B, 2A's. Okay, where are these? Okay, going? and now I've got... Um, my two squad leaders. <laughs> nice. Okay. Wow. So it's I'm just deck building time. Yeah, just shit loads of bolstering. Basically, we're going to take two rifleman A's and two rifleman. Oh, I need scouts as well, though. Shit. Uh, scouts, scouts, scouts. How bad is it if the scouts just get killed by snipers? Yeah, it's probably fine. Probably fine. It's probably fine. So two, two more riflemen of each class as well cool. magic all right uh, i'm the deck builder this time <laughs> me so i'm going to um so what have i got i've got a couple of scouts going on um so first scout a um i don't think we're going to do any attacking yet i don't uh or maybe uh ooh. you know we're just going to so you've got the new guide action as well, which allows you to order a unit from squad A to take an action. We're just gonna uh, we're gonna we're gonna conceal. So would Sorry, you take I'm... a fog of war, please? Oh, boo! I hate this. You wanted deck building. Now your deck's getting very built. Um, and <sighs> please do it again. Uh, we got another scout coming in for also a conceal action. Um, and then the platoon sergeant. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a, a leaf out of your book and do some bolstering, uh, and I'm gonna bolster adding two snipers. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to need the sniper fire, so you may as well get it underway. Uh, and I think I also will want uh, a single uh, Rifleman A or B. Let's go Rifleman A. There you are. Grand. Okay, so let's go to the Discord and on to round two. So far, all quiet on the uh, western side of Stalingrad, or the southern edge. Uh, Right. Mm. I hope so, Mike yeah. brought enough body bags with him. God, David, me too. Oh, this is really a scary scenario. Cool. All right. I'm, I'm gonna, reward. I'm gonna to move this position in over here so we can see these flips better. You ready? Three, two, one. Well, that's okay. yours this time. Thank you. Rifle and A doing it, doing a job. Uh, right. So then. I think it's time to see how these snipers act. So yeah, we've got we, we, we've got Yulia. Those of you who are around for the briefing may remember Yulia, um, uh, who is our sniper. So Yulia has a regular attack of one, um, which would work and all, but she can also attack three. So that's rolling three dice as long as the range is greater than or equal to one. So if someone's right in the space with her, she can't snipe inside the building, but um, otherwise, yeah, can do. They've also got this stalk action. That allows you to move without um, without into a non-scouted area. 
and it doesn't place a scout either. You just kind of independently creep in so there. They effectively ignore the the, the scout tokens yeah. for purposes of movement. Uh, but I think Yulia really likes her current position and is going to take a shot straight away. So we're going to do an attack three, uh, and the person we're going to attack, I think, I think we're going to go for that uh, that scout A over the yeah scout A. So it's a long shot right a across long the board. Shot. Yep. It just got longer. No. Uh, so it's one, two, three. Sorry. Sorry, Ooh. everyone. I'm going to get weights for this camera, I promise. It's the next thing I'm going to do. Camera down. Is this? That's uh, That was there, wasn't it? Yeah. There we go. So it's uh, one, two, three, four spaces. Uh, and then the scouts are a five. So that's nine plus three for cover. So that's 12. Um, so actually, I will only hit on zeros or tens, as it were. Uh, but I think it's worth taking this shot. So I'm going to roll three of these. Uh, where should I go? Yeah, if you do that, and then we can pop this here. Uh -uh. Uh -oh. No, no, no zeros, on, please. Be nice. Okay, no tens. Did get a nine, but that's not going to be good enough in this case. This is going to be so stressful. <laughs> <laughs> this scenario is already too it's stressful. Just a <laughs> I mean, so far my die rolling is entirely yeah, consistent Luke, with last You could just time, be so. as consistent <laughs> as last game. That'd be great. Um, and then I think we're going to... Uh, inspire uh, with squad leader A. The snipers? Uh, who's gonna? Well, no. They, oh, the snipers don't, don't, have, a don't squad. have a squad. No. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna draw this rifleman back uh, and play them again for an. They're gonna attack. So rifleman A is going to attack the scouts. Uh, so this one is just a one two in distance plus three for cover, five. Uh, plus five on the scouts. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go for the rifleman. So instead of shooting for a ten, I'm shooting for a nine. Um, Do you know what I'm hearing off. here, Luke? What I'm hearing here is that you want to attack the party house. And I do. I still have a thing wild. against the party house. I did not get my nine, so that's a miss. Uh, it's just one dice, was it? It's just one dice on that attack. Huh. Yeah. Do riflemen only have one attack? Yeah. Or well, at least mine huh? do. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> uh, it's uh, machine gunners have two. Gunners have two. Yeah, it's the machine gunners, yeah. Uh, and then squad leader B, uh, I'm also going to play. I'm going to actually bolster with B. Uh, so we're going to take a B Rifleman uh, and a B Machine Gunner. Mm. There we are. There we go. Uh, and so they're all going... Well, they will go to my discard in a moment. Your play, Mike. Right, so I'm playing uh, my Scout B here and Scout B is going to recon. Nope. Partly also because I was just fed <laughs> concealed my opponent's going to be concealing, and that's no good. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's a shame, though. Damn it. Um, hmm. So I've just... Uh, so I've got Rifleman B here, and they're just going to advance into Metal Worker's house up here. Uh, so that's going to get them near to the first objective. An objective. Um, and then I've drawn Scout A, which is a shame because he's my upgraded scout. And if uh, if I'd if I'd had him in with a Rifleman A, I actually could have captured a, an objective this round. Because I could have guided the um, the guys, but um, yeah, it didn't oh, happen. So, I mean, I could start scouting. I could run up here and scout and then just stand in front of the sniper like a dork. But I think instead what I'll do actually is I'll just give Luke a taste of his own medicine and conceal. Conceal. Okay, so I get a uh, fog of war into my thing. Whoop, whoop. Let me go on to the next round. I know my final four. Big deck. I didn't get my gunners. Why didn't I get any gunners? Did you not put them in your starting deck? You should have one gunner of each. Did you use them for... Initiative or something? Oh, I might have used them. Are they in your hand and you haven't? You just haven't played them yet? Because you only played two cards. Though. Yes, it's shh, no. no. No? No, it's fine. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. <laughs> Mike only now realizes how many attacks his riflemen have. Lol. It was the machine gunners who did all the work last time. The riflemen started at the back and then they had to walk really far. I was trying to suppress them. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't really... We will not be suppressed. We believe in freedom of uh, speech. Freedom of bullets, <laughs> yeah, This is uh, our chosen form of communication. <laughs> uh, 
the stock function is quite cool very thematic yeah a lot of the actions david i mean i was concerned when i first played the game that all the different kinds of actions with all their different names would be hard to remember but they're so thematic and they're so sort of just various nuances on the same general principle that uh, yeah no it's all it all comes together very nicely all right here we go that's nice and set up for the next round sorry that's right. shuffling way more than you um it's because i bolstered so many cards man yeah. cool where's my this one three two one just a fog of war you can, uh, you can i've got have a it back. seven i can have it back great um Okay, that's a bit of a shame that I overcommitted, but it's fine. So It's really not a shame. I'm quite happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start off with B. So I'm going to flip this over. So that's a control. Now yeah. I have a control action, exactly. So now I have one point of four. And the way I see it, the er, sooner we get this done, the better, really. Now I'm going to play Machine Gunners A. And this is my upgraded version of Machine Gunners A as well. Is that the cat? I think so. <laughs> Hello, cat. Bun Bun breaking back in. <laughs> She's like, I want to be. Bun Bun knows where the party house is. I want to be in there. Um, so, Machine Gunner A, uh, they're going to appear here at. Uh, they've woken up from their their hangover <laughs> and they're ready to go. What is area suppress? This is a new thing. Yeah, I don't know. If the machine Gunner I A. I assume it's going to target like a square and can do a bunch of that. Suppress everyone in a square. That would be wild. Uh, suppress. Uh, so let's have a look for the book. For area suppress, choose any tile on the board. All enemy non vehicle counters, so basically all my infantry and stuff, um, perform a separate attack against each one, um, taking the steps below, which is rolling. So you, you, have a, you have a shot at. Um, so if you try to area suppress the waterworks right now, I'll do two dice for each you one. Do two dice for each one, um, which is a lot of it's, that's a lot of suppressing. Yeah, I mean uh, that that feels like um, almost too good to pass up. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a fan of that. That this is a nasty surprise. He's upgrading machine gunners, being good at their job. I'll tell you what. Let's give it a shot, if yeah. only because it feels like a little. Well, I, think, bit I think there's no much, reason not to. Like <laughs> too much of an. It feels like too much of a good opportunity to pass up, just because they're all there together. I mean, they're still. So there's there's. Oh yeah, so they're fours and fives. So to hit the fives, it's one, two, it's ten. So it's yeah. ten and nine. Yep. So we'll do scouts, scouts A first. first. So they're on ten, so only yep. tens will hit them. Uh, that's two fives, so can okay, I five. add those together and make a ten? Nope, nope, nope. No, 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 no. Sure? Okay. Not even with German maths. So this is a scout B. Yeah, Germans using the power <laughs> oh, of math that's... to win. Um, uh, what do we got there? An eight and a three? N nope. Uh-oh. Well, this was a good opportunity. Rifleman, so these guys will go on a nine as well. Yeah. So now we're looking for a nine, Rifleman A. Uh, we got a nine. Okay, I'll flip them down. And then there's Rifleman B. And it's an eight and a three, so nothing. Okay. So that could have gone better, but also that's, you know, we got one thing out of it, and uh, that was fun, I guess. And if um, you're going to suppress anyway, you would only be targeting one unit, so you did at least as good as a, at least as well as a regular suppression. And here is uh, Machine Gunner B, who's now... Where are they? Are they going to be out here in this morning? Okay. They're going to show up... Over the metal works? Up at the... Uh, the... No, they're... Well, they'll be with the Rifleman B. Oh, yes, that's right. I forgot. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually, that they're yeah. up there now. Um, cool. So the the Gunner's B show up here, and they're going to suppress the sniper, I think. Cool. Um, let me just uh, do some quick math here. So it's 5, 8... 9, 10, 11. So it's 10s. Yeah. So yeah, I think we better go with the suppression if we actually want some kind of beneficial outcome here. And David, thanks for hanging out. He asked if this is better than Normandy. A bit early to tell, David, but uh, it's at least as good as. Oh, we've got a 10! Oh no, come on, Julia. <laughs> She's like, ah, this the gunfire is scary. All right, that's the end of that. Cool. Uh, so it's over to me. Um, and I'm going to be bringing out my machine gunners too. Uh, so, 
Uh, first of all, <laughs> math yeah. in board games. Oh no! Yeah, s- s- keep it away. <laughs> We're gonna a. We're gonna be on this tile over here. Um. Ah uh, yes, more area suppression. More area, well, I don't have area suppression, but yeah, you can uh, no, get another target I mean, just, for you. If you could put everyone into the waterworks, where I can just blast them over um, and over again, that'd be great. And they are immediately going to try and suppress your scamps. Um. So let's have four dice. Uh, and oh, well, I'll put it I got to, uh, oh, I'll go back here. Cool. Um. So this is going to be. They're only going to hit on tens. Um. But. So once again, they're shooting into the party house. And they do not suppress the scouts. So the scouts are like, this, this guy's miles away. Should have let me add those fives together. Uh, I could have let you add the... <laughs> it's time for even more gunners in this space. Like, like this is the real party zone now. <laughs> oh my god, I, I um, should have gone second and just filled the area water, suppress this. I missed an opportunity here. Yeah, waterworks are going to... They're going to do the same thing. They're going to try and suppress those uh, scouts as well. Mm-hmm. And again, they do not suppress anyone. Do you need ten? Only ten, yeah, because they're scouts. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> that was indeed. that was yeah, that was very lucky. And my final card is another um, a fog of war, so nothing there. All right, cool. So here we are, back to it. Yeah, I'm quite scared of that area suppress, but I like like. Well, I've only got one card though with it, so unless no, who's I can't remember what my other upgrade was. Um, no, who did, I upgraded the scouts and the machine gunners, yeah. We should have upgraded both machine gunners. Well, you didn't get a choice, right? You just drew until you hit yeah, them. Yeah, so. it's random, so. Uh, right, let me have a look at these. Uh, um, okay, I think we're going to do that. Three, two, one. Ah. Uh, I will take back the initiative. It's an inverse of the first round. round. I um, fog of war it and um, um, and I'm gonna sniper. play a sniper. Does that Amir sense? is gonna ready Yulia and then Yuliana's gonna take a shot. So we have Yulia and Yuliana in the sniper squad. <laughs> um, I'm serious. <laughs> like be afraid. <laughs> I am. I am. Um, I mean they look like incredibly fearsome um and scary. Uh, and I think this time we're gonna we're gonna take a shot at the uh at the gunners over in gunners the metal B. Work, gunner B. Who was it? Gunner A or Gunner B? That who has your uh, thingy? Gunner A's have the upgrade. Gunner A's have the upgrade. Um, the, the 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 veteran in Gunners A. Uh, so if I'm shooting at these guys, it'd be a one, two, uh, three, six, ten. plus ten for those gunners. So actually, I'm going to shoot. Uh, they're going to do another long shot, and they're going to shoot, shoot to kill and attack. Sniper shooting straight uh, down the board at Gunners A. Yep. Um, and I'm going to be rolling three dice. It was definitely more range than one. I got one! Yes! Yeah. My first casualty of the game! <laughs> so This now, is why we have snipers. Now I have to give you a gold star. Yeah. Oh, well done, Luke. You did <laughs> it. Thank you. Have this gold star. It, it was and I need to give up a Gunner's A card. Is that right? Yes. So uh, I check my hand. I don't have one. Yep. Then play area if you'd already played some this turn. Right. Well, which, actually, there's the nothing there. Uh, and then your discard pile. Discard. So deck last. Not, then the deck. Oh dear. Which means so... that it is the area suppressed that goes into the casualties. That is a shame. No, it's the delight. <laughs> I think I think my commander was like on the radio being like, find that machine gunner. Like that is your target. Get that so, one, yeah. <laughs> thought everything else. Don't worry about them capturing things. Um, and then my final card is a fog of war. Uh okay. over you. So I'm gonna start with com- platoon sergeant and draw two. Commanding for two, okay. Mm-hmm. No waiting around. No, we've got uh, we've got business. I hope they'll follow the force. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start with um, machine gunner A. Quality gag there from Alessandro. <laughs> What's that? How do you know if a sniper likes you? Because he misses you. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> well, in this case, she misses you, but. Uh, so Machine Gunner A is going to attempt to suppress the snipers. So this will just be tens, I'm sure of it. Uh, yes, you need a ten. Uh, but you get to roll four of them. Oh, come on. Ah, two nines! <laughs> two nines. <laughs> 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 
We got uh, a nine here as well. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, so let, let's just check that it is. It's one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Plus something. Yeah. Okay, so we failed to suppress the snipers, which is a bummer. But I think uh, I think I'm kind of I'm kind of tempted to just rush because I'm really worried about uh, this army and these snipers, and I don't think dilly dallying is going to actually help me at all. So I'm going to play a scout B card. And Scout B is going to scout one, two, revealing this tile. And then uh, Rifleman B is going to move into the tile. And Rifleman A is going to advance up here. So we're basically just completely revealing ourselves. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you know. Sure got to get out in the open at some point. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. Um, and also, we've got to advance to capture these points and... You know, it's either that or withdraw. Yeah. You know, yep. and I could have just been like, ah, eh, Luke, you win this one. I'll withdraw. But that's not the point, is it? I also feel like you're not that far off now, right? You can control, control, and you're just going to get one more. And that's yeah, it. well, that's what I'm thinking, right? Like, just try to get to this end game condition as best we can. Three, two, one. Oh, I should have gone with the fucking four. The <laughs> same. Right, so I've played a five. I will keep the momentum up. Yep. Uh, we're going to start immediately with a sniper attack. No, I hate it. Um, and we're going to do sniper attack against uh, <laughs> probably uh, one of these. Let's see. Uh, let's go against the Rifleman B. Yep. Uh, the uh, chat's just saying uh, alternate win condition. Keep the party going. Keep the party going. <laughs> and don't let the Russians crash the party at Zablot, uh, Zabalotny's house. house. Yeah, exactly. Um, so firing on this rifleman is four plus five, six, seven. So just a seven. So seven's yeah, and up. We'll yeah, hit. I'm going to roll three dice. Gonna, you're going to kill this guy, but it's fine. <laughs> I mean, it's not fine. Yep, well, I only got the one hit, but that's all I need. Uh, so, a Rifleman B, please, uh, from your hand if you have one. If not, nope. From there. And discard. To the casualties. And a gold star. This one is for you, Leah. There you go. Gold Metal. star for you. you. Well done, snipers. You don't you sound a little sarcastic about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, well done, snipers. <laughs> uh, and then my machine gunner at A uh, is going to open up by we we're gonna do a suppress i think mm -hmm. actually maybe maybe just an attack onto the rifleman yeah we're gonna uh, attack the riflemen who are 4a uh so this is rolling two dice uh, they'll hit on a four five six seven so they'll hit on seven or better do you need casualties with the snipers specifically yes only the sniper casualties yeah. get me as nice well yeah, yeah. Uh, I got a 10, so there we go. That's going to be a right from an A, please. Sadly, I don't have any of those either. Oh, so. I should have gone for the scouts then. <laughs> go. Okay, and then my last card is a fog of war. So. Very good. So, I uh, I have Machine Gunner A, uh, who is just going to continue to attempt to suppress the snipers. Just okay. buying me time to capture what I need to capture, so... Here we go. Just firing a machine gun. Blah, 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 blah. The rifleman take cover. Um, what you call a Soviet sniper? A marksman? <laughs> That's terrible. I love it. Uh, that looks like no zeros to no, me. No, no zeros. Yes. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Do I get anything for a straight? Like a long straight? <laughs> <laughs> Only straights are five or more. <laughs> Damn it. Um, I've also got Squad Leader B, uh, who can't inspire anyone, so we'll just bolster Rifleman B with two cards, I think. Um, or we might take a Machine Gunner B. More, 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 more meat for the uh, meat grinder. Yeah, well, we'll exactly. Thinking. My last card is a Fog of War. That's what I like to see. Great. Uh, one, two, three.
Uh, we want to keep that really. I think I think this is the answer. Deep thought happening over here. This is what I like to see. This is the pain I was in last time. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Um. You know, I can just freely play whatever I want to my initiative. I'm happy. My snipers will get their shot. Yeah. I'm just wondering how many, how many people have to die. <laughs> um. No, you got your briefing. My, my people got their briefing and they were very clear on how many people had to die. It was five. <laughs> Alright, let's try this. Right. I think. Three, two, one. I've gone eight. I've got six. six. Or four, yes. Okay. I like that you felt the compulsion to bid on that. It makes you feel this is Fair enough. important. Uh, I'm going to start with my platoon shot, sergeant uh, to command. So I'll draw two, one, two. I'm going to play a scout. Uh, my other upgraded scout, who's just going to recon. Um, so, uh, recon will get rid of this fog of war mm. uh, and draw me a new one. And now we have uh, some interesting decisions to make. Okay. Um, uh, let's start with uh, Rifleman B, who's just going to take a single crack at uh, the Rifleman A here. Um, so one attack, uh, I'm going to be rolling one dice, and it's going to hit on a four, five, six, seven. So sevens or better. I've got two dice, one dice to roll, please. Can I grab a die? There you go. So I'm looking for a seven or more of a dice roll with me. No, they're not. A lucky that break. Rifleman misses. Uh, go in there. Well, uh, just, just, just really just maybe some tracer rounds for machine gunner B to have a pop. So I'm going to roll two dice to attack. Same. The same target. Yep. Same target. Two and a six. Two and a six. That is not a hit. That was an extremely lucky break. Now, I drank all my coffee. Do we <laughs> accept that? Uh, like you say, I really hope that I'd, I'd know what happened to Rifle A before I played this one, which is another machine gonna be. Oh I think God. we're just gonna keep pouring fire on that location and we're gonna go for uh, an attack again. On uh, Rifle so this a. is just gonna be two Rifle A. I'm very tempted to suppress. Actually, you know what? I'm going for the suppress, please. Can I get the extra two dice? Um, I think we just want if we can get a bit more time. That would be ideal. Uh, and we got we got we got one hit, so maybe the suppress was good. Well, no, I know, but that's what I needed. So rifleman A is suppressed. All right. It was not the most effective of firing. Like the the the, the platoon I feel like basically with just all shouted those like, cars. Fire. You could have got away with much more, or I, that could have gone. That much could have gone. Yeah, yeah. Poorly for me. Um, well, I guess I made the right decision early on because I'm going to start with a Rifleman B card in order to take control of this position. Two. And then I'm going to play a Rifleman A card, which will unpin them. And then I'm going to play another Rifleman A card to take oh. control of <laughs> this position. Yep. So now you've got three out of the four victory points. Just one more. Yeah. But I don't know if you noticed, this This one's in completely open ground. Yep, I noticed but that. another step closer to a sniper. Yep, Luke, I had not <laughs> escaped me. <laughs> right, uh, so we need some that's new cards. extremely scary and worrying. Did you play your last one as well? That was, uh, that's the last one for your pal. Yeah, this is the la <laughs> This is my draw deck. <laughs> my whole draw deck. <laughs> uh, I, I have three, so I need to shuffle for one more. I don't like this one. I've got no casualties on there. You can always ever. withdraw. <laughs> I feel like I'm still doing slightly better than you, <laughs> yeah. in terms of the objective. Yeah, I'm only I'm two fifths of the way there. You're three quarters of the way there. Yeah, I mean, I'm more worried about how many casualties. I feel like this one is more about how many casualties I take. Throw the tea leaves at the spinner. Blind him. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. I'll just summon my German spiders and blind him with web shots. <laughs> 
I don't know. You said spinner, and then for some reason I went to giant spiders in my mind. I don't know why that <laughs> happened. Yeah, Alessandra, the game. This game is super tense. Um, every dice roll is super tense. It's wild. Like it's a really good design. Um, I can't spell. <laughs> Oh, the sniper! That was supposed to be sniper. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's no, not your fault. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> I mean, it is, but, you know. Um, it's fine. Don't ever feel bad about some typos. <laughs> Besides, if you hadn't misspelled, we never would have discovered the Nazi giant spiders. <laughs> <laughs> um, which are going to descend from those threads i think that's the worst Jeez, thing man. ever like i used to be arachnophobic <laughs> but not so much anymore but you know when like you see a spider descending on a thread and its legs are all sp splayed so, out yeah. and it's like coming down from above you know it's very gentle like a little balloon or something you know you don't you think you know like it's descending on you to grab you maybe they're like soviet it. snipers i don't like it all right so we're bidding for initiative I, i've already made my choice i'm bidding for initiative okay um, right, here we go. You ready? Yep. All right, let's see if we got this one here. They do like four. I got seven. Five. Are you take the initiative. All right. Here's... Uh, what are you doing with your initiative, Mike? Yeah, not a whole lot, actually, Luke, unfortunately. Um... <laughs> bon bon closed the door <laughs> um, but I oh. seem to be drawing all of my cards wildly out of order so here's what I'm going to do what I like to hear. <laughs> I'm going to spend a machine gunner B card and I'm going to attempt to suppress the snipers <laughs> okay so this is one two three plus three is six yep it's only my zero whole is only... life is tens Hey, we got two! Oh, well, only one counts. So there we go. Suppress snipers. Good. All right. Now, I'm going to play another machine gunner B, and I'm going to attempt <laughs> to suppress your machine gunner's A. So My machine gunner A. Okay. We're going to shoot one, two, three. That's seven. That's ten. It's ten against ten. So we're shooting down here. This is a suppression, yep. Yep. Four dice. Nothing. Oh, for some reason they couldn't see it. But... Oh, I forgot to turn the camera back on. Yeah, it's it's uh it's sevens and I don't. This is supposed to be clearer and more fun, but actually I think it was better just in the dice tray. Um. Anyway, we had a nine, but it wasn't enough. And the last option here is riflemen who can't really do much because they can't move because i haven't scouted so instead uh, we're gonna have to just take a pot shot at the sniper and hope to roll real good um so it's attack one shot a 10 <laughs> one two it is a 10 it's only just a 10 though and even if it's more than a 10 it's, 10 it's a still six. boo <laughs> can't be more than a 10 Oh, yes, yes, of course. Tens always hit. Yeah. And ones always miss, right? Uh, I don't think I don't think so, but I think you're very unlikely to end up, end up in that because the squads yeah. have, like, a minimum. Right, it's not possible protection. to have a one. Um, defense. Defense. At least with what we've seen. Who knows? Maybe late on there's some, some really defenseless <laughs> things. You can get uh, the sci-fi expansion, which comes with, um, with the infrared goggles. Infrared goggles. Um, <laughs> it's not that sci-fi it's just sci-fi for the time <laughs> and they had a they had like some early night vision goggles and like special radar but you needed like radar dishes to push them out and then people would see with them as well oh I destroyed Stalingrad I'm gonna get a wait for this I'm so sick of it sorry everyone right, right. I'm gonna open with uh, my rifleman who's uh, this is rifleman A who's gonna take a shot uh, at your rifleman A um Boo! So no, this is just uh, this is on a seven, uh, but it's just the one die. Uh, can I grab a die? No, the dice are mine. I've with I'm withholding the dice. Uh, that was not a hit on the seven. That was only a six. Um, <sighs> the scout's going to attempt the same shot. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, da! Yes, it's a hit. Okay, on so I go into two. here. 
and look for a Rifleman A if there is one there is not there shouldn't be <laughs> so in which case you have to go into a deck alright so do I start from the top or the bottom you, it doesn't really matter because you're going to shuffle it afterwards so yeah but I mean it could matter because uh, who you get, if I yeah. had upgraded cards uh, that is a good point I don't know I mean it doesn't matter right now because I don't have any upgraded Rifleman A's but but I'll, I will try and find out uh... giant spider Just have to move it from the deck. Um, if there's one or matching in your search pile, you could, the defender, but well, it would be you, would choose which card to place. Okay, so, so I go through the like, deck to yeah, find the less all of the ones one. that match, and then you choose yeah. which one. Uh, and then finally, uh, my squad leader is going to inspire the scout because the rifleman missed to take another shot. Uh, but this uh, and this will again be a shot at rifleman A. Uh, um, so again, I a seven. To win. I need to end this soon. Everyone's dying, right? Uh, so seven or better does not get it. No. Okay. Whew. Phew. All right. Uh, back to bidding and hands. Come on, come on. You, you got the initiative at the moment, don't you? Yeah. I do. Not a fair. I think we'll do that. I think we'll do this. Three, two, one. <laughs> Eight. Looks like you get it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so, the scout's in there. Um, I'm going to platoon sergeant to command. So I'll draw two more. What is all this command bullshit? Oh, you had Inspire last time. <laughs> inspire last time, yeah. <laughs> Nonsense. Um, He's and cheating. I we're going to play a sniper to unsuppress. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm going to use a rifleman A, who's going to also unsuppress. <laughs> no, on my carefully suppressed. Uh, and then work. two folks of war. <laughs> this is just everyone enjoying a lull, taking, taking control of the situation. Over well, here. I'm also going to cheat and pl hang on. That's, why is this looking at you? Um, come over here and look at me. No, it's my turn. Uh, I'm also going to cheat and draw two cards. Commander. <laughs> Platoon Sergeant. No, oh, okay, I thought that was I thought that was an inhalation of victory. I was worried. I had the... No. <laughs> Sadly, it was not. Um, okay. Let me think here. I've got some options, but... Um... All right, let's, uh... Mm. <laughs> My poster's falling down. Bum Bum's Revenge. <laughs> Everything's falling apart. It's all falling apart. Can we um, draw? Can we draw at any time before you play card? <laughs> no, I think this is a stupid idea. Uh, what I'm... <laughs> and and your idea is stupid, too. Sorry. <laughs> I was talking about my strategy, but also your terrible <laughs> withdrawal idea. We took... Do you know how many bullets we took for this? All right, so I'm going to play Scout... Uh, Scout um, B. Yep. Um, and Scout B is going to go one, two, and Scout twice. So now they're with the oh, snipers. They're in the building with the snipers. Yeah. So they the snipers can't do as good attacks against the scouts. And also the scouts can stab the snipers if that happens. And also, uh, what happened to the Scout B card? There it is. Um, and then I'm going to play a. I, that's That's wrong. And yep. that's wrong. I would have won if that was true. Uh, you do need to take a fog of war for both of them. Yes. Here we go. Thank you. And now I'm going to play Rifleman B. And they're Ooh. going to advance in here. <laughs> Not and a fan. Now I'm going to play Rifleman A, who are going to move in here, <laughs> where they okay. would like to be safe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Yep. And that's it. Yeah. Don't like this. The scouts have got in the building. <laughs> the scouts are like, we're going to find you. They certainly are. Uh... Uh... What am I going to do about that? Let's have a look. Okay. <laughs> Where did my area suppression go? I'm so, so upsetting. You ready? Yep. 
Three, two, one. Seven. Seven. I get to keep it. <sighs> okay. Um. Right. Uh, and then we're gonna go. Uh, but let's find out how this goes first. So first, we're gonna have our machine gun, machine gunner B, uh, who's going to try and suppress uh, these riflemen. Rifleman B. Rifleman B. Yep. That makes sense. Uh, so that's going to be four dice. But what are they? One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, plus four. So they're, they're only hit on zeros. Only on tens. Again, but it's, yeah, because they're shooting across the entire yeah. area. But also, only just. Only just, yeah. yeah. Uh, where did I see? One, two, three, four. Cool. Nope. Some ones, which is kind of close to ten, but not, <laughs> not in a helpful way. Uh, we're gonna do the same again with the machine gunner, uh, who are gonna they're gonna suppress versus uh, the rifleman there as well, mm -hmm. and they get the suppression this time. All right, so flip them, uh, and then finally a sniper. And we're gonna have a sniper attack against Rifleman B. Um, mm -hmm. Not going to stalk away. <laughs> uh, so this is three dice, but it'll hit on six or better. Six or better, yeah. Uh, so come on, surely. Oh, yes, yeah, well, only the one hit, though. It's close. So a Rifleman B from your hand, if you have one. Lovely. Casualties. And a star. I, I, I wish for my medal. My snipers might not be long for this one, so... Okay. Well... What I think I will do now is I'm going to play this scout card to recon and I'm going to recon this fuck of war into something else. Makes sense. That is that little smile. Smile. That's one. It is a rifleman B. Okay, they're going to they're going to unsuppress. Yeah. Ooh. I would have, if you'd failed to suppress suppress or hit them, I would have won that yep. round. So. But the, the sniper was likely to hit them. Yes, that's true. Which is, you oh, know. Oh, but even then, yeah. If you hadn't won yeah. initiative, like, if you hadn't, because yep. I had a seven, so if you, but you, you, we tied, didn't we? We tied, we tied right. on seven. Ah, oh, that's so tense, like. <laughs> you have the wrong side of the ticken. What is that? What are you, what are you talking about? Sandra? Of the token, I think maybe when we hit the stars. Or maybe I should be on. That's it. I think he's trying to make a joke because he spelled it funny, and I just don't get it because my I'm Chips literally so stressed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to save Nazis. Like this is a very weird position to be in. Trying to save lives. Yeah. <laughs> yes, human lives. Yeah. Uh, I think that is our answer. Oh, Bon's <laughs> outside. She's like, let me in. I mean, yep. Ooh, oh, we're going over here. We're going yeah. close in. Three, two, one. Okay, I've got the... a three to my five. Oh, that's just my fuck of war deck. I was like, what is happening? Don't. Uh, my snipers are going to again attack your rifleman B. Uh, so this is three dice. A six or higher will be a hit. Uh, no, a seven. Four, six, seven, yeah. Oh, and they get the hit. So do you have a rifleman B in hand? I don't. In which case, from the deck, please. And I will take a, the fourth casualty. So that was the sniper again, was it? That was the sniper again, yeah. I mean, a slightly different one. Am I allowed to look at my casualties? Uh, yes, you are. I'm, I think... Basically, like, you can inspect any part of your thing except for your deck, normally. You know? mm. um, in some ways, taking these sniper ca these, uh, casualties is kind of protecting your uh, your upgraded guy who's in the, the first thing, because he's less likely to be drawn. Um, and then... Uh, so these are the two I've played. Then I'm going to go for a machine gunner, who's going to go for a suppress. Um, and this is machine gunner A. 
Uh, and he's going to go for suppression on the rifleman up there. These poor guys, jeez. Trying to trying to hold it, hold down the fort. So this is four dice, but there'll only be hits on tens. Uh, should we zoom in? And I get the suppression. Yes, okay. Whew. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to inspire for those machine gunners to fire again. And they're going to try and suppress these scouts. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, uh, and that'll also be only on tens. Uh, they do not get it though. Mm -hmm. Almost a nine. Uh, we'll just check three. Yeah, three plus eight plus a lot. There are many squares away. Okay, Mike, what do you got in store? I had um, I had considered withdrawing. I am considering withdrawing because save you the you think I might get that final casualty with the sniper before. Yeah, I mean you've got to get only one more casualty with the sniper. There are um, two of them in this deck. The snipers. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like riflemen have been suppressed to hell. Um, and your scouts also can't suppress my snipers, right? They can they can attack them, but the, the, the first one to go would be the one from this disco pile. So well, not if you had one in hand. Not if I had one in hand, but you know I don't right yeah, now, right? No you like, don't. And if I get to keep up the initiative, which I'm pretty committed to right now, <sighs> it's a painful moment. Yeah, this is tough. Um, how many casualties are you on because this might make a bit of a difference to you so if you have zero cards in the casualties obviously take zero if you have between one and four you'll take one uh, if you have between five and nine you'll take two so I'm but currently you're... taking two anyway I'm on six yeah. okay so you're, you're quite yeah I'm unlikely to do uh, four casualties before no three oh yeah six to yeah. nine yeah oh god I th okay I think we're, we're dug in in for a penny, in for a pound. Let's do one more round. I okay. Think. So, um, I'm going to start with Gunners A trying to suppress the snipers. Yep. Ooh, is is that, what is this? What is this? I it's see. a one. It's, it's a, nothing. It's uh, miss. Um, okay. I mean, so, I say, oh, but realistically, yes. Realistically, <laughs> yes. This is what I need. Um, okay, do you know what? I'm going to play Scout A to recon. Oh, that is not what I expected. I'm going to unpin Rifleman B. <laughs> 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 this is crazy time. I thought you might try and guide Rifleman A in like, I, I was thinking like, well I, the... I need to yeah I was thinking about moving A up here or running down here and maybe scouting another... you'd have to scout it and then yeah because like, are they yeah, touching they, they, yeah, they, they, they are yeah, adjacent like, aren't they yeah, like, yeah, they're, they're, they're always they're, offset exactly yeah, like so um, we just had a but, uh, small... uh, let's see what happens here snipers please be in my hand snipers please uh, uh, okay. Yes. We like this. Is my considering? Is Luke trying to cheap out? How much does Mike have to pay to get the initiative? Will it even help? Is there a Rifleman B in Mike's hand? <laughs> <Hang on. laughs> if you commit a Rifleman B to initiative, I'll be terrified. <laughs> but otherwise... <laughs> like, I, I feel, yeah, it's, it's not a comfortable spot. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> to be Deeply uncomfortable. And see if I can ref see a reflection of Mike's cards in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Uh, 
It's fine. It's fine. There's no problems over here. Just, <laughs> just run across the open ground here. This one's a zero cut. <laughs> right, are we ready? Let's do it. Three, two, one. <laughs> Brother war. Um, okay. I will get to play first. Uh, I'm going to uh, platoon sergeant because I don't have a sniper in hand at the moment. Draw one. Draw two. I have the sniper, so let's see. Okay, so this is going to be a sniper attack um, onto the rifleman B, um, and they will hit on a six, seven, or better. Uh, I'm rolling three dice. Come on, come on. Yeah. Yes, just the one seven. Oof. That's a rifleman B to casualties, and my fifth gold star, please. Oh, you've won. Yep. Okay. All right, let's there have a look go. here. I want to. I forgot that you only needed one more point, or I would have bid higher on the initiative. Uh, okay, yeah. Let me just check something real quick. If there is a rifleman B in the top two cards of this deck, <laughs> I could have won by bidding higher on the initiative, <laughs> which I would have won. Let's check it out. I don't know if you have another rifleman no. B in your deck. Is there one? There is. Okay. He's no, way he's down at the bottom. Ah. Uh, oh. That was... I mean, potentially you still could have, right? Because if you'd drawn the machine gun and successfully suppressed the sniper before I took my turn, then... Yeah, Yeah. I mean, right, I, I could have bought more time, but... Yeah. Well, that was a big chunk of German resources wasted. Oh, we... we, we and, and no Soviet casualties this time. That, yeah. that literally zero, so... Yeah. It, 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 we've, we'll end up quite even on our decks. The game has a way of evening out. I think, I think the, the really critical moment there was the fact that I happened to luck out with the first casualty being against your guy with the area suppress, or I couldn't have kept them all in this little square, just, you know, mm. pop it off, because otherwise I think you would have kept me suppressed all the time, and that would, yeah, you know, it would have been hard for me to just keep suppression up, you know, bit by bit out of this. Yeah. Um, that was really critical to me. Mm. Yeah, I think, uh, I think what I possibly should have done um, is... I mean, I don't know. I don't think I necessarily did anything too wrong. I probably should have... No, I don't know. I think this is probably just kind of a hard one. Yeah. I think the the only... The thing I might have done differently in your place would, might have been to open up the second option, right? So just instead of Russian scout in here, scout like one, two, so that the uh, guy from here and the guy from here could step into each of these, and I had to deal with both. Yeah. Right? But that would that would have opened you up to more casualty short term. But I only draw the sniper cards every so often. Yeah, um, but I think the thing is I had far fewer rifleman A cards uh, in my okay. deck. So yeah, I was I kind of thinking like if I can, wanna... I've got a lot of bees though. So if I can, um, um, you if do I, it with the bees, that's the safer bet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I really consider that from your angle. Well, I mean, it it's sort of uh, it. It was, it was, there was a, it was, yeah, it was, it, it was, was also incredibly like, close, right? Like, you've got three of them. You have the scout, you have the person in position. Uh, yeah, I was, like, again, consistently one action away, and there was, um, yeah, oh, it was close. Yeah, I, I kept getting these uh, squad leaders with, like, not matching cards in hand. It was so annoying. <laughs> But, uh, no, I mean, obviously, yeah, very tight. Yeah. I thought it was quite funny, because we, we both got to bolster turn one. So we got the burn our decks, and then we both kind of stopped. And for me, it was deliberate, because I wanted to keep, mm -hmm. you know, my sniper percentage quite high. Mm -hmm. uh, but for you, you kind of had the people you needed. Um, and I think the game would have been different if we'd, if we'd not ended up both bolstering at the start, because we both would have been end, ended up kind of doing it bit by bit and remapping out. Also, it was weird, because I, you know, my... my, my Gunners end up spawning in here, and I thought about moving people just one space forwards, and they would have all been much more deadly. But I was like, I only yeah. need my snipers to be deadly. But if you, if, yeah, if you could have brought them out of the cover, yeah, I mean, now, it would have been bad for them too. But I should have maybe invested in some scout B cards because stabbing at the snipers could have been quite could good. It, yeah. I mean, it's only one die, but stabbing at them could have been quite good, especially if I can get them, out of, get them get them out of your deck. Yeah, because then you knock them out of my hand before I use them. Yeah, exactly. That would have been real good. Okay, well, let's Ooh. find out how this, how disastrous this was for the Germans. Great. Uh, so, victory phase. Uh, well, we, we know how this works, so we're going to each look at our little scenario books. Uh -oh, uh, I have to get this snake pencil back out. Snake pencil. Terror. Bonbon's not here Bonbon's to get upset me. about it. So, if we've been doing 2A, our options would be 3A or 3B, but we were doing 2B, so our options are 3C or 3D. We had a Soviet victory. So <laughs> 3D! 3C. Oh, boo. <laughs> 3C. Uh, 
And what's our briefing number? 3C. Uh, 3C, my briefing number is 298. I suspect yours is the same. Right, I'm supposed to check that in mine, aren't I? Yeah. I, I imagine they'll be mirrored because there should be you know, one for each scenario. So. Um, this is in the little chart. It's in the, so yeah, at the very front, you'll have a. We go to if you look at state C three, yeah, it'll tell you. It is indeed the same. What scenario is this? Uh, and that would be so. What did we just say? Two nine eight. Two nine eight. Da, 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 da. It will be scenario zero three two. Um, and 032 is titled Defend the Lighthouses, 1st of October 1942, so we'll move on just a couple more days. Um, yeah, that's going to be interesting. Well, there's going to be some artillery involved. Uh, Ooh, oh, that's and exciting. we both have mission points rather than objective controls. Okay. And they come in all sorts of funky ways. Uh, that's exciting. Yeah. So you have to blow up the lighthouses, is it? Oh, well, I think one of one of us is defending the lighthouses, but I think the lighthouses might be uh, these themselves have been detonated lighthouses. At least in my uh, in in my little story book, I was told. Yeah, the, the, I'm the trying to blow them up so you'll stop shipping stuff across the river. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that what they're for? Well, I think that by lighthouse they mean um, uh, something that just can see over the terrain. So, uh, oh, so these house and like, um, so like sniper towers. Um, Pavlov's house. Are these yeah they 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 overlook the square the January night square, so this is you took them but I've kind of driven you back off and I'm gonna get some of them I think party at the lighthouse indeed, so uh, basically we're just going back and forth like if I'd won this maybe I would have pushed into the city but I've been pushed back to the square, yeah exactly so yeah we'll go back to the square thing but I think but it will be a different set of scenarios this time there's gonna be artillery and I think with the artillery we'll start to see some of these buildings crumble. Uh, yeah, we've got these little factors for building destruction. I think that it might be that the lighthouses uh, may just fall on top of the troops who are inside them. What a what a what a lovely fate for them. Oh dear. Uh, so but, shall we do some casualties? Yes. So I uh, shuffle this and I deal two. So yep. Yeah, uh, assuming you didn't end up taking ten, but I think you ended up with seven of them. Yeah. Yeah. So the main thing them. is, hopefully we don't lose our damn upgraded machine upgraded guns. Machine guns. That would be very sad. I would be very upset. Luke, do you want me to be upset? A little bit, a little bit. I was very upset after game one, so yeah, so, 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 so a little upset, bit. Yeah. yeah, but this is this is this is this is is this is, this 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 is this is not okay. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't have lost any upgraded people. That's true. It's it's. You but I'm also really scared of that area suppress. <laughs> like really, like you I mean, get. Some. I think most of the time I won't be quite so uh, balled up, but. Um, in scenarios where I am, especially if I'm going to be defending a lighthouse or a blockhouse, I'll be like, "I want some snipers." Boo! It's not fair. I want some. Tanks. Alessandro says, uh, "I love this mechanic. Feels like a real battle." Uh, I think I will love this mechanic. It depends on what Mike draws. <laughs> so rifle mini. You set accelerating uh, for it to death. No! Yes! Come on! It's bullshit. Oh, yes. I hope you guys enjoy our one and only undaunted <laughs> Stalingrad stream. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. That's it. The scenario is over. Poor you, you. Edward Ziegler has let you down. God damn it! That's a bummer. All right. Oh. So uh, these are removed into the removed from the game tray. And uh, my how the tables have turned. Should have with. No, actually, the withdrawing was. It was too late to withdraw anyway. Oh, I need the numbers. So it is 16 and 12. Uh, and don't put away the rest of your stack yet, because some of them are going to upgrade. So don't forget that. Yikes. Edward Ziegler's time in the sun was short-lived. So we have, we've got a, uh, a rifleman here who is now incapable of moving. We've got a, a lame rifleman. And we've got a machine gunner who's gone from having an incredible suppression to a concussion. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can't really blame him. It's, it's been rough out. It's true. All right. Um, so I keep... Uh, do I put the casualties back into the card deck for this part? Yeah, so shuffle all in your play area, hand, deck, discard, and casualty pile into a face-down deck. Oh, and then we're going to shuffle and reveal two until we've got two... What if I get the wounded combat. guys? 
Uh, they, they, you ignore upgrade cards, reserve cards, command cards, and fog of war. So it's only regular cards can be upgraded. Oh, yeah, right. I want to upgrade the fog of war so it's not there. <laughs> fog of war slightly more transparent. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> only foggy for Germans. Oh, I have a sniper. Can snipers be upgraded? We'll find out. I think they probably can. They probably can. Uh, and a a rifleman who is Bogdan Artemur. I uh, hate that you've got an upgraded sniper. Yeah, I don't know how much the scenarios will let me bring them in. Like whether they're going to be part of my base high decks or only when there are scenarios that let me have snipers. We'll have to see. Um, I'm really hoping I get them all the time. But when do I get tanks? Like, I just want the tanks. You know? <laughs> I just want the tanks so that I can blow you up. <laughs> Uh, okay, I... Blow up your snipers. Snipe this! <laughs> it, it, it really might be in the next scenario, you know, I don't know. Uh, Alright, yeah. I've got Rifleman A, the guys who just stood around. Well, actually, they captured an objective. And Machine Gunner A! We've got a new upgraded Machine Gunner. So my, my upgraded sniper only really comes with the scout action as the upgrade. Well, and also some improved initiative, so that's not. I mean, that's. I mean, I'm, I'm happy about it, like, but it... it it's it's decent improved initiative, though. Like, well, actually, look 4 at to what, 6. Look at what Bogdan gets. So this is the upgraded rifleman. He's actually got an attack that's a... Uh, he's a two-dice attack. He's learned to shoot. At close range. I think he's got a machete. Oh, it, maybe they've got... Uh, oh, it's uh, only at close range. Oh, I see. So, yeah, this is a... Uh, at range of less than or equal to zero. So basically, okay, so house to house. Close yeah, combat fighting. Exactly. So I well, think what you've done is you've discovered how to screw bayonets onto your AK-47. Actually, well, no, I've got a little uh, PPSH. I've got a submachine oh. gun there. So oh, okay. this is a weapon upgrade. Uh, yes, I've gone from having a, a Mosin Nagant, just a regular rifle, to a PPSH in the little... Right, and this is why yeah. it's helpful to have somebody who knows about guns here to explain this. <laughs> yeah, submachine gun. What Much more useful inside the house. Not improving me at range, but... I think that's so let's have a look. We've got all right. So we need to go to the upgrade deck here now. We've got uh, Carl Dietrich and Ernst Straff, who are upgraded uh, six and thirteen. Do you know what I didn't do? Is actually a spoiler warning. I definitely should have done that. I also want to point out that Bogdan has stopped smoking as part of the upgrade, which is interesting. Not quite sure why, but he has. Yes, that's <laughs> true. I do enjoy that. He's like he's. Decided. I'm not sure if that's a, a lack of cigarettes. Yeah, I think he's run out. I was about to say. I think he's just, just improved his athletic ability from running around. He's like, you know what? I, I have to take this a break. Okay, so I think you're gonna have to tell me here if there's extra rules or something for uh, for grenade, because uh, I've got my upgraded rifleman here. They've got now got a stick bomb, but uh, it looks like it's just the same as an attack. Okay. So presumably there must be some I, kind I of extra rule for grenade. I think that you can you know, you can hit multiple things in a single square with the grenade attack. Um, or it might. Oh be wait a minute! Off. This is range greater than or equal to zero. Uh, no, so why maybe... would they even put it there? Yeah, so the the attack. So you can't, be... you can't do it in your own space. You can't just drop a grenade and be like, "This would be great for all of us." But that <laughs> but that's the it's the same symbol as your guy that we just looked at. Uh, to no, he's he's less than or equal to. No, no, it's the same. Oh, they're not both. Yeah, they're both the same. Okay. So I think it's less than yeah, it's less than zero, right? Zero is greater. Less yeah. than less than or equal to zero, yeah. yeah. So so you you only can grenade inside the building. So you, you I can only grenade in my own space far. basically because we're lobbing it with our hands. Like we just we're just not very good at throwing here in the German military. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just a long way to throw. Exactly. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. So yeah, so for grenade action, it kind of works like area suppress. You choose a target, you choose a square on the board, and all enemy counters in that space do it so yeah so, you, so if you send him in he can drop the grenade and then everyone everyone there is gonna gonna suffer uh, okay so it's an area suppress it in works my the own same time. as area suppress but except it'll also do attack instead of suppressing right so and our our new machine gunner a's are now at long range so if i'm attacking over range one i get a third die i've got a long range attack basically I think what what we've actually got here is a, a new belt jockey who's just really good at running the ammo belt. Keep it, keeping so it fed. So just spray bullets. Nice. There we go. Leader B. Let's go. Right, and and that's it. Right, then we move 
on to the next scenario. Yeah, that would be scenario. Th- uh, that's the end of you know step step two. We move to scenario three, but specifically three C. Three C. Uh, we can't. We'll never know what three A, B, and D are. All right. And if you want to find out what three A, B, and D are, you have to go and play the game at home. You have to get a copy and play it. Um, and I did. Uh, so this is not a review copy. I bought this game. Um, I did get a review copy of Reinforcements and North Africa from Osprey. I subsequently picked up my own copy of Normandy. Uh, I like Undaunted. I was l- I I I was we did not have a very good time with the North Africa on the North Africa stream we did. But I think there are other better scenarios in North Africa. Although I think that the vehicle rules were a bit futzy and not very well received and. Um, I've not since played with any other scenarios using vehicles, so I don't really know if it was kind of unique to that scenario or what. But uh, so far, of the two scenarios we played, they've both been fun and interesting. I'm really glad that uh, the second scenario balanced out the first scenario, so it still feels cool and They both and felt quite asymmetric. Even the first one, we were just going for the points, you know, and it was a bit of an interest scenario, right? We were in quite different setups for what was going on and that kind of gave us a different thing and this felt very asymmetric um alessandro saying is this the best one and david also asked that earlier is this the best one um yeah for, for my part i immediately feel more engaged in it as a campaign experience than i did with normandy i didn't play through i only played the first couple of scenarios of north africa uh, but in Normandy, I like going for Star Scenario, but definitely, you know, the upgrade and reserve thing makes the casualties feel much more meaningful in terms of for a campaign setting. Um, and so that's a big plus for me uh, in comparison to the two. I think, I mean, I think, I mean, one thing, I, I guess one thing I would say is that, uh, of course, you know, if you are. So Normandy and North Africa, they both have solo modes if you get reinforcements. Um, and you can get reinforcements to expand them as well that comes with new units and things to put into those games um, they are both much cheaper than this as well having said that I think this might be the best one I think um, having not played a whole lot of North Africa having not played all of Normandy either um, but I'm immediately very engaged in this and very invested in what's happening um, I like the idea of the sort of the persistent map changes I like the upgrading and casualty the the wounding of the soldiers i can't believe that my elite gunner just got <laughs> taken out but that's great like it's really cool how that works um so yeah i'm, I'm super invested in this already and i think that you know if you were just going to buy one and you knew you were going to play like 12 games of it anyway with someone then this might be the one to do you know the other thing is it's not legacy so you can just reset it as well um i think the one thing about this is it might if you were going to play with a lot of different people, you probably can't really just drop into this and play a game of it, right? Like, I don't, yeah. I, I, I don't know if there are rules for it in the box, but it feels kind of like it's designed for you to play through it sequentially, starting from the beginning. So if you just want to play a game of Undaunted without necessarily starting a whole playthrough, you're just going to wind up playing that first scenario over and over again, which might be... And maybe, maybe once you get to the end, you can like unlock them all, or you can set one up, but it, doesn't, it just doesn't feel like it's designed that way. So I think with that caveat, um, I do think there's a lot, a lot of really nice things going on here. Um, yeah, if the campaign thing isn't a plus for you, and you're not, you know, and and maybe like this is a new war game, and you're not sure if you like the theme or have someone to regularly play with, then Normandy and North Africa are definitely safer bets, right? Does I mean, I mean, Normandy is the is, yeah, is yeah. Out, out of all of that stuff. Like, Normandy, Normandy is where you go, right? Like Normandy is, but I think it's just generally considered to be better than North Africa. It's it's slightly simpler um, in terms of the rules overhead, just because it doesn't have the vehicles. I don't know about the scenario design. Like I said, we only had I've only played like that one scenario, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I don't know why you'd start with North Africa over Normandy anyway. Um, right, but yeah, um, yeah. So, that, but I think that's it. like the campaign stuff. And if you're going to be playing with lots of different people, um, that might be why you go for Normandy instead. Because yeah, because you can also escalate Normandy, right? If you like play the first scenario and you're like, I want to play with all the tanks now. Yeah, you can jump ahead a bit. And then for people who played a bunch of war games on these kind of games, I think often they do, right? They can be like, I I understand what's happening in the pacing of this. Whereas this, you you you're along for the ride. 
uh, and the face is going to happen quite naturally, right? Because I think now I have snipers. I don't think you're going to get snipers in the next scenario, right? Like, so, you know, that's going to, you know, and you couldn't just jump in and be like, oh, let's do 3C. <laughs> you know, and you could then track through the whole deck and be like, okay, so that would mean that you have got snipers and you have got this, but you wouldn't, you know, you need that whole shaping and ramp probably for it to be meaningful and even unpack later on scenarios, whereas this is... Yeah, Not absolutely. Self-dead. Like, how would you, uh, how would you even go about? I don't think because I don't think they've got like sort of quick start or quick jump in kind of rules in there. So no, there there, there are rules for how to reset, right? And there's mm-hmm. an advice that if you haven't played any in the previous scenario, play the first, you know, play the first scenario, and then just reset it once you both understand the rules of the game, and then play the first scenario again. Right. Yeah. Um, which I think is a reasonable thing if you've not played any of the series before and you know you're going to play a campaign of this with someone where you're both new. Mm-hmm. Like that's probably a sensible thing to do. Um, yes yeah that, I mean, that makes sense it, that's probably not an ideal solution if you're like i want to play this with a bunch of people <laughs> right like and introduce them mm-hmm. absolutely well that wraps that up um so if you want to see more of undaunted stalingrad leave a comment down below put a like on the video and uh well, maybe we'll see if i can forgive luke for killing my <laughs> machine gunner and have him back on the show for another session so do let me know but uh thanks everyone so much for watching And of course, uh, do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next exciting videos. And in the meantime, we'll say goodnight for now. Night night. Cheers all. (laughs)